Hello everybody, I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome in Parameter. Before we go into the game, there are a lot of people that followed. I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Let's go back to... We'll start at Quishepi again. So thank you again, Quishepi. You're wide open! Dragon Fire. Uncle Din 91. Obismi, who I think we did last You're time. Wide open! Melee Picks and Pikawood for the follows. So, chat, to no one's surprise, the guides are wrong again. <laughs> just, wide open! I would just I would just like to state this is now at least the fourth time in this playthrough. I have looked up something that is directly contradicted by either something I have done You're wide open! or directly contradicted by another guide. So I really hope someone puts out a much cleaner walkthrough for newer players, as it is You're actually absurd. It is actually absurd how much misinformation is in these guides. Like, chat, this game has been out for decades. How is some of this stuff not cleaned up still? You're wide open. It's actual madness. So remember, chat, how I was getting sad that I couldn't go back into that one place because one guy had said that you can't do it. The other guy doesn't even mention that you can go there. And then it was, like, kind of ambiguous what to do there. We actually can go back there, by the way. So we're, we're going to go do that today. I swear, chat, guides are actually whack. <laughs> I'm allowed to trash talk them. Listen... I'm trying to spend time to do some research to have like a clear line of sight of what I should be doing in each area. They don't know what they're doing, which is unfortunate. I was kind of hoping for better, but you know, open. it is what it is, I suppose. So anyway, one thing I forgot when we were going back and forth, I was wondering if there was a way to open up the jail cells. You're wide open. And we actually do have a way to open up the jail cells. Oh, that's scary. Oh, no, 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 we got a good save file. I was like, I looked at this and I didn't see our uh, most recent save. Um, You're wide open. I think it really matters what she has with us. Let's go swap our party members. Okay, so one thing I learned about stats You're is that open. eventually, in theory, it'll catch up. So I don't think I need to play as, as the other characters as often. I just feel like as long as I swap every now and then, it's You're probably fine. Let's go back to Pikmin and Pip. Who has become White Element, by the way, Chan. I forgot to mention one mechanic about Pip because I wasn't 100% sure. I believe the most used element on the character, witnessed by the character, or used on... Uh, determines the element that they pick, and because we were spamming so much Meteor Shower in our playthrough, they become White Element, which is kind of hilarious. So if I wanted them to be Blue Element, I could just have them spam Blue spells over and over, for example. Alright, so let's go back here. Welcome, Kirk. Exactly, more Meteor. So, let's go back to the Homeworld mansion, since I should actually be able to do something there. Yeah, I forgot I had this prison key. One thing I would like to state, chat, I really wish these items were in alphabetical order because it's very easy to not see it when I'm scrolling through here. So I do not feel bad that I did not see it earlier. Thank you, Kurt, for subscribing. So I feel 0% bad because that item was not in our main menu, despite me opening it up a lot. I have to specifically be looking for it. Um... No, no, not the blo oh, bluffs. Oh, I wanted to go to Termina. That's so annoying. I'm getting trolled. Double speed got me. Come on, game. I wanted to go over here. There we go. I forgot you couldn't approach it from the north, but that's fine. All right, so we should be able to do something here. So, yeah, I just happened to stumble across it because... Hello? <laughs> where, where, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where was the exit for this thing? Did you see that? Oh, there's an NPC that walks there. I was like, how did I not make it to the exit? That was crazy. <laughs> you know, it was like seven seconds. It must have been because I like rolled the coal stick or something. I know. That shouldn't be allowed. I'm getting trolled in real time. Anyway, 
So if I want to change Pip's element, we could spam other abilities, but honestly, he might remain white element to, to be 100% real with you. Yeah, I think the person writing the guide forgot you could climb this. And that there should be another way up here. I don't mind getting more, more cure pluses for if we do want to do blue element. In theory, I have to do summons at some point. So yeah, we, we get to wave our finger at the gods. At this point, I am like 100% giving up on them. Like, I'm, I'm so sad that they are not more useful. I mostly just need a checklist of characters since it is easy to miss characters. But I think I got everything else I need. So yeah, remember this. Yeah, I could have gotten this. I think I meant stone mail and everything. Ooh, the evade raid on Pip is actually pretty good, but I might leave him as is. So yeah, we could go down through this area. So they were just they were just wrong, Chad. I would just like to state that in, in big letters. <laughs> how, how annoying it is when you're trying to plan a playthrough and they don't know what they're talking about. So sad, chat. I mean you gotta call him out, chat. Like these are the kinds of things that normal players will probably come across if they're just looking for guidance. Like, that's why the guides exist. So, when they get information wrong like that, I definitely take offense at that. That has not been corrected by anybody in, like, literally almost a decade. Crazy, chat. Crazy. This is, like, easy stuff to fact check. Anyway, we're gonna go on a killing spree. So we'll see what that armor does later. We got a Mithril Vest and a Carapace Dress, I think it said. But anyway, we could go backwards through the maze. So I guess I could go this way first. Just to see if there's a treasure or something over here. Nothing to do here. What? There seems to be some trick for opening it. What? Is that a visual bug? Is that supposed to be a wall? I'm gonna I'm gonna put a question mark on the board chat on that one. I don't I don't know what was going on with that, but sure. Go with that. I don't think I could go this way. Try going this way. That is, as we say, interesting, dot, dot, dot. Yes, that was a visual bug. So there we go, chat. We found a visual bug. We did it. We found new bugs. <laughs> we we can officially say it's it's our playthrough. When, whenever we clip into something we're not supposed to, or we see little glitches like that. Thank you, Calvisha. Hope you enjoyed that visual glitch. I don't think they thought about people coming from the other side. Alvisham says, good luck hunting dragons. Sadly, his message does not pop up in the chat for some reason. You did one damage to me? You guys are so... You guys are so effed. Oh, maybe you're referring to the, the chat effects? I think I have them turned on to get the... Uh, What's it called? The extra emote slots. So if it does the chat base effects on Twitch, it will count it towards unlocking that slot permanently. So you won't see anything on my screen since I found a very creative way of not showing that. So to take that Twitch, I guess, question mark. But uh, I think on the Twitch mobile app, it shows it. Yeah, I think it'll show it. It literally does not show up at all on screen here or in the VOD. The people will just think you're crazy, Calvisham. And by that I mean, oh yeah, Calvisham's hallucinating. I don't know what he's talking about. He could be talking about anything. Um, I'm gonna cast white spells for the sake of casting white spells. See if we can get Pip leveled up a little, a little more. Damn. He's gonna try to cast a level one there, but he died on it. It's so sad. Hellbound. Ew. Sorry about that. Yeah, our goal is to get to that chest that's up there. The question is, can we reach it? We can definitely go this way. Okay, so we can walk against the flow in this version. 
So yeah, there's... We were not locked out, regardless of what they claimed on certain guides. So, shake your head, chat. They don't know what they're talking about. Bear witness to the truth. As I said before, I'm just going to spam more white spells so Pip notices them. That's about it. We've cast so much white magic, I'm pretty sure he's just going to go angel form at this point. Yeah, there we go. Getting that revive is going to be so nice for later. So basically, whoever's in our party should just learn it full time. Yeah, like, I just have, like, a whole bunch of nonsense in here. Honestly, I could probably just get rid of some of these. Um... Honestly, maybe I'll just leave him as is. Maybe i put the revive on him. I kind of liked what our other setup was. Also, we have a spare holy light, which is hilarious. I guess I could just put another holy light on them. Nothing really stops me from doing that. Sadly, he doesn't have level 7 slots, but actually, maybe he could use the light spell. No, we can't. I don't have another one. I'll take that back. I was hoping we can use another summon, but I'm like, oh. Yeah, I don't think we ever got Ultra Nova. So, oops. I think there was something I was supposed to get this from. One moment as I consult notes. It's not like a summon, per se. Yeah, there's a couple enemies that do it, including Mega Starkey. Yeah, we missed the chance for Mega Starkey, that's right. We have one more chance to trap it, I think. But we only have one. Hmm. I should probably get a few of those. Double Purify, honestly. Let's just put Revive in there instead. So, does it allow- okay, it doesn't allow me to climb up the stairs there. That's what I was curious about. Are we allowed to do anything else? Can I use this ladder, for example? No. So they do seal it off. It's not possible for me to go the other way. So I think that other... Either this place specifically would have let me climb, or this ladder, I don't recall which was which, would have let me ascend. But yeah, we didn't need it, so... At this point, I guess we just leave. I don't think there's anything I could do down here, yeah. We'll do double speed here. So we got everything we needed. We got the revive, which is the most important thing. Like, that was legitimately the only item that I think would have made me upset if we had to leave it behind. Since we only get, I believe, three in a single playthrough, we can't purchase them at any point either. That's kind of rough. Oops. I got stuck on invisible something or other. That's fine. These enemies, at least I could build up spell ranks. So yeah, we're just going to make sure Pip witnesses more white spells. And then have Pip use more spells. Just to make sure stuff is going towards his counter. Nice. So technically, I think if... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter who goes first. But I guess I should probably put Pip in first, just to make sure Pip is able to cast spells. In case we get another encounter. If we don't, we don't. It doesn't really matter. Get through here. Flip this. I'm surprised we avoided that encounter, but we'll take it. Yeah, oops, I forgot I had the prison key. I don't think there's anything else we could do in here, like revisiting it. Yeah, not really. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna go dragon by dragon. So, I know where to trap some elements. I don't think we really need to trap any more for the rest of the game, unless I just want to get Ultra Nova before the later area. Not like the worst thing ever. I think we could technically bait the final boss into giving us abilities if we really wanted to, but I don't think it's super worth it at that point. Since ideally we would want to use Ultra Nova and random encounters here. 
That slime is such a troll. I hate that slime chat. Wow, they actually interrupted my turn. It's unfortunate. Yeah, we're gonna make sure he's casting spells. Doing what he needs to do here. It's fun. He'll eventually evolve at certain star levels. But we just gotta build up his usage. A lot of cure plus if I want to play some blue users. Speaking of which, one thing that I want to confirm. If we take a look at our bonuses here. What do we have in terms of the shinies? So we have one dark, we have one yellow. So we need white, red, and green. So I do need to play white, red, or green at some point. I could go for the black element, I think, upcoming. The reason being that uh, if we manage to get... I think we only need one of each. Then we could start using our shells. Oh yeah, speaking of which... Let's see if marble is updated at all now that we've killed a couple dragons. We have to just kind of keep checking on, on this place every now and then. I don't think there's anything else we have to do. Yeah, like, nobody's back yet. It might be after we deal with the dragons. They might return. So I know which one is the final area. The question is... Yeah, we can also technically go to Gaia's Navel. Hmm... Guess we could do Gaia's Navel? I guess? I think I should be able to technically do this right now. The problem is I don't remember what it is, what is the difference between the home world and the other world. Oh, this guy's still here. Um... Alright, we actually you know what we should be able to go to both versions now. So we have a Biba fruit. Up to you real quick. Alright, so we have the Biba flute from a long time ago. We might as well do that now. So if you remember, we saved the Biba a long time ago. That should let us actually finally go to Guy's Navel. So the question is, what kind of elements are here? We'll be able to make it back if we blow the food again here. You come on from Sky? Booga booga. Leia says, you friend of father? Father? You know him, father. Father is a brave warrior. Leah lose him father when Leah very little. Grandma say him father went him to Sky. You come from Sky, so Liam think you know him father. Ooh, that's awkward. We're sorry, Leah, but we don't know your father. Hide away, where are we? Leah don't know him either. Leah face some land face some land anger and end up here. Villager villagers not him here. Only Leah and he come him here. What was that? The Queen Dwagon? He pretty tough him. Leah help him if you fight him. Leah winning him so far. Oh. Leah temporarily joined him party. Well chat, you get to name the... Oh. Just forcing her the party? That's awkward. Um... Can I, can I choose not to bring her? <laughs> I mean, she's very good. Look at her stats. She's got 37 strength, so she's com she's competing with Siegfried right now. Her accuracy's a little whack, though. Yeah, Rattlebitus, I think, has slightly better stats than her. And I think the Siegfried has even better stats than Rattlebitus. She has potential room for growth, though. And I just choose not to bring her. I can. Interesting. Give me one second, chat.
I realized I left my phone somewhere else, or else I would just check it out. I guess she's at the party, so I guess that's good enough for now. I don't know if we actually have to beat anything with her. Make a save later, just in case. Green brooch. Let's see what that does. Anti-green. Protects against anti-green and green status effects. Everybody else is pretty good. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much never getting rid of sunglasses on the protagonist. Oh, hello. <laughs> Surprise! Bird attack chat. Aerodact, okay. Um... It's gonna burn a heal spell just to get the usage up on the character. Again, we'll keep spamming white element just to make sure he maintains white element. Technically, I could use up enough black that he becomes black in terms of element. Earring of light, I don't think that really matters. Interesting. Oh, I didn't even see the enemy on that side, that's funny. Down a right. that's good, we actually need the... I don't mind getting into a fight over here. If it wants to fight me, I don't really care. I somehow avoided that encounter. Given that I walked towards it, that's actually kind of impressive. Let's at least fight these things once to get them recorded, even if I don't need them for anything in particular. So I might switch out on who does the boss, but until we get to the boss, I don't think it really matters who I play as. This is it before, I just want to get more usage up on the character. So casting it and having it affect him is probably good enough. Damn, his damage is insane. She, he's just slapping things out of existence now, Chad. So we're just storing up for later. There seems to be a place I could climb up, which is good. Nothing I could do over here. Go this way. Whoa, this looks bad! Oh no, Greg has been shown. A little enemy. I'm gonna murder it. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, its name was Prehistoric and it's using Jurassic Beat. Okay. Does that conf oh, does that confuse me? Oh, that's annoying. Well, then you must perish. You know what? He's casting white spells. That's good enough. Sorry, you aren't sleeping well again. The oh no, come on. Don't confuse my whole party. Obnoxious. Please don't instantly kill Pip. Alright, we need to end this fight now. Please holy light it in this fight. There we go, fight over. Yeah, I'd prefer not to lose some characters over stupid stuff like that. There's like an upper path and a lower path. I think I went the right way for an item. Attacked by the flying pterodactyl again. This is a lot of enemies for Pip to murder. See, so yeah, we're just gonna keep using spells with Pip just to ensure that he continues his growth. Since he's not at his final form. He is like Pokemon. Did you seriously poison me? That is not cool. Let's use Purify on ourselves. Oh, do I not have Purify on him? Oh. Well, that's a mistake. I thought I had one Purify. Whoops. Well. Whatever. I'll Pip deal with it next time. Go ahead and just get rid of it now. It's not even my final form. Yeah, he was talking earlier. 
I killed him with 28, seriously. Wow. That's just embarrassing for the enemy, really. Got another Inferno. Please climb down. That looks very weird. That's fine. We're not going to question it further. Uh, so it could go down here to get the treasure chest we saw before. More Denedrite, which is good. I don't super care about more encounters. Damn, we gotta go back up. And nothing here is remotely threatening to our party. We have so much damage. This is kind of like whatever. If they want to try something, they can. Denedrite is actually a good pickup for us because we need that on like every single piece of equipment we have. We actually ran out, so I don't remember what dropped it specifically. So getting like three of those is huge because that's potentially one to two extra pieces of equipment. I guess that enemy was supposed to spook me. Yes, there's the chest. So we, okay, so it's a green element. I could technically set up to steal more green element if I want to. These enemies have like very varied elements. So I don't know how easy it's gonna be to, uh, I'll use Holy Light. I'm not sure how easy it is to build up a summoning chain here. The other areas seem to be like, if it was blue, most of them were blue. This one, almost none of them are green. But in theory, I could still do it. So I think I'll try to get one summon before we go further. Or Denedrite. I'm, I'm actually happy with that. I, I don't care about that. Okay. You know what, chat? I, I'm okay with that. So sadly, we probably should substitute out uh, one of our characters, because I need to be able to steal from the boss. Yeah, this is a green element. Let me try... don't remember where my black elements were on the other characters. I think they were... Something like this. We'll do this. Pip has a black spell. <sighs> First he cast an ability. So sad. Yeah, this is why it's really hard to use this in general. Like, I tried setting it up. I would have been pretty much good to go. Whatever, I might as well have Pip kill them then. Oh, now they let me have like a million turns? Wow, okay. Also, I'm poisoned, which is kind of annoying. Okay, it's one more cure spell towards our count. Yeah, see that? I actually would have been able to do it there. So I guess I just bait the first singer. I really want to do it here. Annoying. Sanja? I already have that, though. Right, so we're going to temporarily sub out characters for bosses. Okay. Um... Remove Pip for the time being. We didn't get to name Leia yet. Need Fargo. Sadly, we don't need water element for like literally anything. We could also get a green character here just to try it. Do we have any good green users at all? I don't think so, right? No, the only the only one we have is Radi Jenkins. I mean, so I could try to bring him here just because. So many characters we could have flashbacks, something like that. Not needing border so we can pretty much. I can increase his defense a little if I want to. Assuming Earring of Light gives more than the other Earring, but I don't know how to tell the difference between them. I use magic defense up. I don't know if that really matters. Let's give him a better helmet. I think 4% of 8 is not terrible. Give him a magic ring. 
I'm gonna have him hold on to the Profiteer first for a little bit, actually. Oh, that was almost really bad. That was like the one enemy I don't want to encounter. So I guess I could fight these. Oh, I forgot to see if he had the summon. I don't think he does. Let's briefly run from combat. I just want to make sure I have the ability to summon. We don't need like a ton of ton of elements. So like if I have 10 shells, I want 10 ingredients. So I need 10 kills with it. So I think we have enough for water. I just don't think we have anything needed for this game, please. Ah. Yeah, so we could give him Sonya. He already has a decent... <laughs> I love these greed abilities, by the way. He already has enough to, like, carry himself. Honestly, I don't even think he really needs other abilities. I could assign him stuff if I want to. I just wanted more arrow blasters. That's probably fine. It's the only thing I really need to do. I'll just leave him uncomplete. I don't think it matters. The only thing I need to make sure is that the other characters have some green abilities. He's got a decent amount of blues there. He has eagle eyes. That might be that might be good enough for our combo. And if I'm desperate, I can have an attack green. So this character just needs green, which he does have. The thing I was more surprised about is that he doesn't have the ability to cure himself, but I guess it doesn't super matter. Heal all is actually a pretty good one to have for green element. So I'm just if I actually have a heal all, I'll replace one of mine with that. I do have quite a few heal alls. That would be a little more effective than the uh, blue cure. And I could get rid of... Uh... I think I'm going to keep some low-end blues. Probably don't need as many turn reds. I'm going to leave a heal all there for easy access. I think that just kind of makes sense. This team should still basically be unkillable. So ideally, there's going to be at least two enemies here. Hopefully more, but hopefully of the same type. Only one, that kind of sucks. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and use Eagle Eye on Jenkins. Now Jenkins just needs to hit, which he should be able to do now. Oh, did I put it too high a level? Oh, that's awkward. I gotta act once or twice here. There we go. Let's see what this ability does damage-wise. There we go. The magic sparkle dust. How much damage does it do? Enough to kill. Oh. We didn't play as Jenkins and get little mini stat levels. That's fine. There we go. We officially now have green. Because I get poisoned to death. You get into a fight with me real quick? Oh, these guys didn't respawn. That's awkward. Um, I guess I'll cure myself then. I was just gonna do that rather than heal, but I mean, if I'm poisoned and I don't have any way to cure it, I should probably get rid of it. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna bring this team to fight the boss. Maybe we'll be able to do something fun. I don't know if there's any trappables I should really be worrying about at this point. I don't think so. Because honestly, we barely use any green. The only trappable we would get at this point would be tornadoes. Like, I can I can put it here. So we could see if the boss does use tornado. I'm assuming it will. So having three tornadoes might not be too bad. I definitely don't want to grind out like 20 or whatever, but having a few, I guess, wouldn't hurt. You know what I mean, chat? Like, I'll, I'll go for it. Oh, we ended up back at the beginning. I 
they think I'm boss here, so keep thumping monsters. He get him angry, come out. Oh, do we actually have to kill every enemy? Interesting. Sure, I guess. Well, that's convenient, right, Chad? I mean, I wanted to get more summon ups anyway. Okay, so all we gotta do is just... Spam some green abilities and we should be good. Okay, we need the enemy to do an attack here. Perfect. It is kind of annoying that it poisons. So that's one less thing we need to do with a kill with this. So we're very slowly going through our remaining elements. We need to go back to the volcano area at some point as well. We might do red after this. Whatever, I'm poisoned. So I guess I'll go on a killing spree. I guess that's why they weren't respawning earlier. Ooh, multiple green. That'll save me some time. Nice. Just weakening them up a little bit. Make sure we can put Hawkeye on Jenkins. Or eagle eye, I mean. And you just gotta weaken up whoever is left, and it doesn't really matter who he hits. Did he just miss the 99%? Seriously? Wow. Yeah, you can't make this up. What is the point of accuracy what? ups? I know. What is the point? We're just actually getting trolled in real time. Anyway, we're getting our green summon stuff out of the way, I guess. We only have enough to make four at the moment, so I think this is technically all we need. Yeah, that was actually bogus indeed. Super unlucky. So we have as many as we have shells at the moment. Let's go up there and kill the other people. Why is it so quiet? Oh. Well, I guess that's all we needed to kill. So we didn't need to kill everybody, but maybe the insects killing. Made him a little upset. I'm not really too worried about this. I forgot to check what my armor was with him. Oh, he's still got a stone mail on? Oh, yeah, we're fine. I don't care. He come on. <laughs> that, that's not a dragon. No. No, don't tell me this is a dragon. You are you are a filthy liar. What no 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 no. Don't tell me this is a dragon. Please tell me it's not. Oh, oh it's called Tyranno. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Oh, I was gonna say, like, they have some very loose definitions of what a dragon is. Also, unfortunate, I didn't think this was uh this boss. I don't think it really matters here. Yeah, it does have stuff we could steal in theory. Not that it really matters. Alright, it's not the dragon, fortunately. I need Burger King to uh, tell him to have it his way. So I guess this is a reference to Black Tyranno. I mean, they made the field almost pure blue. I almost got away with the summon there. I was actually thinking about it for a second. Um, how about you all just perish? Wow, he whiffed. Sucks. 
Um, improve the accuracy of links. Have Burger King do some damage here. Uh, he's a stronger heal move, actually. There we go. This should be big damage. Yeah, we're destroying Tyranno to no one's surprise. With like a million damage. Should kill Tyranno, and the other one should be close to dead. Because our spell damage is insane. This is fine. We have so many spell levels, we should be at full health after this. So I'm literally not worried at all. I guess I could go ahead and use Invincible, though. It's clearly a leech. Yeah, something like that. There you go, chat. GG. That was the star level. The Burger King went up more strength. Probably for the best. Lynx went up some strength. Oh, Jenkins went up strength. I guess that's okay. What that? Oh yeah. We just leave. It's hilarious. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> right, chat? I could go save, I guess, in between if I want. Oh, there's no one to fight, though. So I really want to fight those guys. Give me a second. Let's make sure Pip gets a mini level up. These are the only two characters that are going to bother with the mini level ups. Chat's true party needs to make sure they get some level ups. How's that, chat? Everybody else I'm just going to ignore from now on. He's not targeting me with Jurassic Beat. Alright, we can immediately purify after this, which is good. I can negate one of their annoying abilities. Let's go ahead and kill this guy outright. He really whiffed the 90%. Wow, that actually is not going to end the run, but that is really annoying that that just happened. Okay, at least we killed one of them, so we're not in like a stun lock. I can, I can purify anybody it targets. Okay, well, you know what? Fine. You want to do that? You want to play with that? And die. <laughs> right, chat? Like, that's it. I've had enough. I think I can just go for the kill now. I don't need to purify. Good job, Pip. Your evade actually mattered. Giving Pip more opportunities to get some uh, spell usage up. Shot that guy in the face like he deserves. Let's give them a little mini level up. Nothing too crazy. Lots of Denadrite. Well, I guess that answers the question of how we get more of that. Alright, so they're already basically where they should be level-wise, so that's fine. Go back to these characters. We'll have to keep an eye out on characters like Horrid. His magic score is really, really high, actually. Um, yeah, Jenkins' magic is on parallel with the dragon. It's weird that Jenkins, like, he's slightly more accurate than the dragon, but he's got, like, a quarter less HP. And is just way less tanky in general. Woohoo's. Woohoo's falling off a little bit. I think her bonus stats are starting to uh, level out. Miss Fish is just busted. Look at the chat, she has 30 base magic. Like, this character is actually bonkers. Does not make any sense. Um, I guess I'll bring in Jenkins again for this fight. Also, I think I forgot to save. Let's make sure we save. So we're gonna 100% make sure that we steal important items here. We can see what Power Seal does, actually. I don't know what that does. I'm assuming it's just damage up, right? Do something that does... 66. 
Ooh, that's a very significant power increase. If there's somebody we really wanted to explode, we could put that on them. Right now, I kind of like how we're balanced out between hit and uh, spell damage. So I kind of just want to keep our accuracy maxed. But hey, we can have we can have a uh, Pip or the Martian delete people. Booga booga, Leon, know him. He here. There he is. Silence. What is all this commotion? I will say they have very interesting interpretations as to what these things are. I don't know. The face of it looks kind of weird, but whatever. Hmm. Oh, it looks like he casts... No, so he doesn't use the ability we're looking for, sadly. What is all this commotion? Hmm, I see. Thou seekest relics. Come hither. Um, I don't even think we have the spell slot, this trap. I guess I could have bought some. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any more of these. Is it worth leaving to go back for it? Hmm. What even happens if we try leaving? Okay, he says I come hither. Okay, we can't go back. It's not the end of the world. Booga booga. Me am no he here. Y yeah, I mean, we're talking to him, right, chat? We, we kind of are, right? Like, it's kind of... He's kind of right. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess we'll proceed. And now for lunch. How dramatic. Yeah, I think we can still get Tornado from a future fight, which we haven't gotten to. I think we're losing a chance for Carnivore, though, which is fine. Head breath. What is he, a Marlboro? The field's already pure green, but... Also, by the way, if he whiffs, we leave. <laughs> just, just FYI, if we don't get this. Okay, good. We got the green plate. That... Ooh. Why is our accuracy so bad? Are we blind? Oh, I see it now. There's... The dark black spot on his black robes is a little hard to see. Not gonna lie. And now I think he's going to use another element on us. Yeah, so I could have stolen Carnivore here, I think. That's fine. Uh, counter Darkness with Accuracy up and see how that works. It doesn't counter it. <laughs> you know, that's in 49%, but that, that was looking pretty good, chat. I don't know, over 49%, I'd hit it twice in a row. Alright, let's cancel out some of the green field effects he has. Oh, he he really wants to spam some green fields. Um Might as well take advantage of it and heal up. Oh, I didn't want him to cast a spell there. I got a little greedy there, I think. Uh, let's use some yellow. That way we cancel his spells out a little better. Damn, our damage is so high. Hmm. I should probably get rid of some of these weakens and replace them with infernos. We we're doing that just for uh, element hunting. Although I do need to do red summons at some point. We're getting like a million bad status ailments, which sucks. 
Hmm. Just like a graviton to keep black in the pool. Heal plus, really? Wow. I'm just putting myself out of kill range. We should be fine. At least we could do more than he could heal. That's the important thing. At this point, it's just basically a war of attrition. Which we are winning very heavily thanks to Lynx. Let's keep the black element in. Wait, are we actually... I was going to say, am I really going to turn the field black? Did he run out of turn spells? That's unfortunate for him. Oh, that actually killed him. Oh, that's embarrassing. I was ready for round two, but whatever. Also, we're going to have to cure so many status ailments. Holy. Star level... Point in strength is good. Strength resistance is decent. Magic up is good. We unlock genie. There we go. Impressive. Burger King received the green relic. Reg, you always fight a monsters like that? We nod our head. Looks some fun. Leah decide. Leah coming with you, okay, Greg? Maybe Liam find father if Liam come. Also, Leah need decide something. Leah decide him right. Leah return him to village. Leah? Booga booga, let's go him. Okay. So chat, you need to name the booga booga character. On the plus side, one thing I do know without consulting anything, she has a double tech with Draggy. So if you remember our little uh, Shenron Jr., you should be able to do a super move with her. I'm not 100% sure why, but that is the thing. We might see it at some point. I'll let chat decide. I will go open up some notes, double check some things. Yeah, there's still another boss where we could get Carnivore. That's why I'm not worried. This one would have been pretty easy, don't get me wrong, but we could, we could do it at the other one. The only thing I need to double check is if there's anything I should be doing before we go further. Chat's still thinking about the name. Rip chat. Oh no, Blue Don is talking about the ads. It's all over. I'm gonna say, I, I'm assuming she's supposed to be like a cave girl. And this is sort of a reference to Chrono Trigger. Maybe. I mean, she's got blonde hair. It's got, like, the, the animal skin thing going on. Chat is apparently super stumped for names. Rip chat. Sapphire, I don't know what the gem is. Hmm. Just call her Jewel. I feel like that's a safe bet if chat wants that. Jewel works, I got nothing. Girl 3, there we go.
There we go. Uh... Oh yeah, her strength has now outscaled everybody, so she has some crazy strength scaling. So if we want a physical character, we should probably involve her at some point. I guess we can see what she has. Let's so just suffer all the status ailments. I don't want to use Panacea, but that is very annoying that we have to use these individually. Hopefully something respawn that we can fight real quick. Damn. Oh, curl more buff than former Dragoon. Yeah, apparently. I guess we can use the loot to go back. above Hydra Marshes. There you go. The way of framing it, I guess. Alright, so it says we used up the Ancient Fruit, but we should still be able to go to the other place. Indeed, the Bebo are here. I want to play as her briefly. I want to get rid of the... Actually, I want to get rid of Fargo for a second. Let's see what this ability is all about. need a somewhat tanky enemy. Maybe you'll do. Maybe. Hopefully they live through it. I mean, she is a powerhouse. Got a big ol' axe. Oh, that's not good. They're not surviving. They're too weak. It does have a cattail sticking out for some reason. Alright, we need something much tankier. Are the wraiths still down here? No. Okay. Let's go to... Wait. No, I guess that's where I put it last. I guess that's fair. Let's go to Bend of Time real quick. I just want to show off an ability. This one had decently tanky enemies. Yeah. They should survive. Remember, we have cough mix and cough drop. Why is her damage so much lower than the other characters? Rock throw. It might be their level 5s that combine. Double check. Tail spin. Hmm. I don't see it yet. Maybe it's their level 7s that combine? It's unfortunate. Well, this is definitely a Chrono Trigger reference. And her damage is actually decent. Whatever. Time to kill them with cough mix. So if I want to get yellow element, I could try to get a summon here real quick off of those enemies. Not a bad idea. It's unfortunate we don't have what we need. So when she gets her other ability, we'll try. Or it might need his level 7, which I forget if we've assigned. I think we did. But it wasn't their basic technique, so we do have Big Breath if we want to unlock it. They just won't survive for us charging it up. Alright, so in the meantime... Um... I'm gonna take the Profiteer Purse off of him, and then I guess... In theory, we could go to the... the water place if I want to, but we already have the water element. Maybe it'd make more sense to do fire now. 
we have any decent fire users at all, or are they all just trash? Holy, I forgot how bad our fire users were, chat. Holy, it's, this is not good. I guess we'll we'll keep Shenron. Shenron's at least decent, but wow, everybody else is like a solid F. Yeah, that was that was not good. That was like a wall of bad stats. Uh whatever. I don't need the profiteers first right this moment. We have Granite Glove, which is really strong. We don't need to improve his recovery rate. He's already kind of insane with that. Um I could make Draggy's damage insane if I just want him to explode people. Because he definitely has the ability to just do whatever he wants. The 90% accuracy is kind of sick. It's 55 attack versus 63. How much does the protagonist have? 68. So, we now have Shenron Jr. packing an ultimate punch. Let's go to the Pyre Shore. Do we have any red summon? We do. Okay, that should be good enough. So if you remember... There was like that other room we went off to the side and we couldn't do anything about it. Now we should be able to do something there. Damage is actually really silly high. Fun, funny. See, so yeah, I'm gonna change my spells around a little bit on Lynx. Just need to get another red element in here and we're good to go. Inferno, though. Yeah, that's the downside. If we don't have, like, good low-level stuff, easy to over damage and kill targets. Trying so hard not to kill. For some reason they're not doing a third red element, which is annoying. We're gonna strengthen Shenron Jr. Shall I strengthen Pip? I don't want to accidentally kill anything. So now we have it for sure. Let's use Red Wolf. Even though they are fire elements, they should do a lot of damage. Yeah. So we are already gathering some ingredients for later, which is nice. So even if we have some already, it doesn't really matter. We can check how much we have of each. So if we really need to, we can squeeze out some more. But yeah, see, we now have four of the six. We need to get more dark element kills, which we could do at any point with the main character. I'm not worried about that. I'm glad we have nine of the sand. We got a million blue because we had frog prints early. We have four in leaf. And we have shiny embers. The only one we're missing is... Uh, white? I think we're only missing white kills. Which, again, we should be able to do with the, the alien. So I'm not super worried about this. So we're at ten fire kills. Let's try to get to, like, twenty. We can match the water element a little better. Yeah, this this team is like disgustingly strong, chat. Like, this is actually like a very meta team. It, arguably, maybe not so much, but definitely Shenron Jr. Like an actually busted character. Because we could do stuff like this, where he just attacks, right? And yeah, the damage does not matter to me at all. And he could just blow out on stamina like this. Do you like how he missed? And I just play somebody else. Attack like once or twice. Look at that, he could already use two attacks. Actually insane. I'm gonna use Strength Up on Pip. Just because it's another spell that could be used. Yeah, this should just be GG. Yeah, Shenron's ability to just constantly get his stamina back means that if the other characters are spellcasters, he's going to be spamming... Oh, I didn't actually get a kill there. That's surprising. Bonk. Unfortunate. I mean, we did weaken him up pretty significantly, but just not enough, apparently. I love that we're still getting boosts here. Another Mithril. I guess that's not the worst thing to get. We probably need some other elements as well. 
let's see. Probably one. I have a black ability here. Do I want light move? Honestly, maybe just a high-level recover. I don't really need him to spell spam. Pip has not unlocked any more slots, which is a bit unfortunate. The stars have not been very kind to Pip. I think it's okay to have a couple of weekends. I think these should genuinely be something like... Inferno... If I had a blue AoE, I would have put it there. Um... I don't actually mind another recover all there. That's not a bad idea. The spell level is kind of awkward, so it's like I don't mind it being a mix of buffs and debuffs. But probably this many weakens is a little overkill. I could put another revive there. And I probably want. Honestly, probably double inferno. If I get that far down the list, I'm gonna need help. Yellows. This is too many yellows. Probably want to debuff them more than buff ourselves. And the rest of this could just be white spells to help out. So the nice thing is we should be able to very easily cast white magic for the alien. The problem is that the alien and Lynx are currently opposite of each other. But at some point we're going to get to a scenario where... The only thing we really care about is white magic, because Pip, the alien, and the protagonist will all be one element. So all of them will technically be empowered once they swap, who's, I guess, who is in whose body back to normal. But for now, we could try to just do some mixed abilities here. So this should be the one where I should be able to choose how to kill the enemy. So I could put a green ability here, just to help somebody else out. Yeah, so we do have carnivores already. I guess I could put a carnivore here to help out. Most of these just don't matter at all, which is nice. We even got a high level slot unlocked, that's interesting. I should probably make this dark magic. So if I have another free fall, I should probably put it here. Oh, that's what I'm missing in this list. I need more Gravitons, actually. Pure Plus here is a little intense. I can make one of these a Graviton. Maybe something like this. This is the Reaper's power. This is the Reaper's power, indeed. That way I have more set up for black magic. I have, like, got a couple opportunities to do it. So, like, if I'm really desperate, I can do it. Something like this, for example. Yeah, the only thing that matters is I have some black magic at some levels. Magma Burst, Strength Weakens, Eagle Eye. We don't have a lot of support magic here, that's fine. So many heal abilities. Okay. So now if we go this way, we should be able to go to a new area. So if you remember, there was like that one place we couldn't figure out how to go to. I think it was just story locked. Like there's nothing we can do until it showed up later. I mean, he's competing with the Sunglass Lynx, Shenron Jr. So that was pretty good. Oh, speaking of stat ups, nice. Ooh, magic up on Lynx? Strength and magic on Pip. Chat, shake your head. What a beast. <laughs> what an actual beast. There we go. That is a mini level up absolutely worth having. Wow, talk about a perfect stat up on the way to the boss, right chat? Like, don't mind me. I was hoping for more multi-enemies. It's actually kind of annoying we haven't come across any. I was hoping to just to get a couple more fire kills. Whatever. Yeah, see this? That was not there previously. Slash it was sealed off before. Um... 
that's fine. If the game doesn't want us to do it, it it's whatever. Let's bring in Fargo for stealing. We had Pip already get some experience. Let's bring Pikmin back in. I mean, if the game doesn't want to give us multiple enemies to burn, it's fine. It just, whatever. I just wanted to do that while we were here. I probably want to get into one fight. Just to use uh, some abilities here. And then I guess it's up to me if I want to go steal more magic from this boss. We do have a lot of other abilities, so maybe... Yeah, I don't think there's anything to be... Also, that is a level up for Burger King, for sure. Pikmin getting a small level up. Not bad. So I don't think the dragon is in this world, but we can at least check what's over here. Need to bump into him. I forgot we need a burger cake. Certainly something. That is a lot of black element, and I'm so sad it was in the wrong order, because I definitely would have just killed them all just now. See, this is the group I was hoping to have when we had five or so, like, or we had the red element characters. Oh well. I guess I got punished for switching, whatever. Whatever. The important thing is Pikmin got stronger. There we go, cannonballs. There we go, should have enough healing thanks to Pikmin. I'm not too worried about encounters like this. If we never took healing magic, this game would be extremely difficult. But fortunately, we don't have to worry about that. What we do have to worry about are stupid status ailments lingering on us. Huh? Oh, I had the wrong character selected. I got confused. It's like, <laughs> like, ointment is definitely the thing I needed to use. So now we should be able to go here. So let us go through here. I think I probably should have tried using the freeze again. I'm assuming that'll be fine. We didn't take damage, so I guess it doesn't matter. There's the chest I want to get up to. Wait. I no longer go up this because I froze it. <sighs> Come on. Why, did, why does this game do this, chat? This is so annoying. Well, I think I locked myself out of a chest annoyingly. Run away. I don't like that this place has stuff like that, to be honest with you, on many different levels. Is there no way I can... I don't think I have anything that can heat this again, so I think I locked myself out of a chest. At least for the time being. I'm not sure how to warm it up once it's like that. Yeah, it's really dumb, because I'm like, I don't want to take like 5 million damage climbing it, because you can see I took a lot of damage doing so. I'm just like rolling my eyes when it happens. Also, there's like a million enemies here. There we go. So we're still getting decent level ups. Okay. 
don't need to worry about that. Here's the three chests from before. Inferno, Beacon. Wow, we got attacked during the chest opening animation? Are you serious? Wow, that was so rude. Th that was the height of rudeness, chat. Holy, we did 500 damage. Oh, that's how you know I'm mad. Just perish. <laughs> so anyway, our physical strength is out of control with Lynx, is what we've learned. Yeah. Like, he is definitely on his own tier right now. No character comes even remotely close to dealing with him. Strengthen, that was it. That's what was hidden here. So that's so annoying. These enemies just kind of going in like semi arbitrary directions, kind of maddening. So that's what was locked there. Checking something real quick. That went on way too long. There we go. You know, I hate getting attacked, like, immediately. When I'm, like, looking around, I'm like, okay, did I get this item? Did I get this item? And the game is like, you know what? We're just gonna attack you in, like, 0.2 seconds. Our random RNG movements. Right, let's move away from the enemy that just arbitrarily moves. Is there a way to heat this back up with what we have? I don't know. I was just curious what the item actually was. I can't seem to find it online because resources are terrible. I don't think there's a way to unfreeze it, sadly. We'll revisit this topic later. It might be a one and done. I don't think most items in this game really matter, to be honest. The only thing I want to check... Did we get the important item from here? Because that would lim that would tell us whether or not we lost something interesting or not. Ooh, I think I lost the red brooch. I don't see it in this list. So we do get it from here. Although this is the homeworld version, so maybe we didn't miss it? I don't know, it's just one of those things. Well, anyway, I guess I'm just gonna have to travel through the lava next time. I don't really feel like resetting just for one item, to be honest with you. I don't even think I'm gonna bother wearing the item that, even if we got it, I don't think I care about it. It's not like revive, where it would just universally slot in. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I wanted to do here? I guess we could check the marble real quick. Chad, I want you to know in, like, the, the five minutes I spent Google searching while we are killing those enemies, that literally people were complaining about Chrono Cross having the world's worst guides. I'm glad things never change. It's, I want you to know, it was a post from 15 years ago. Some things never change. I'm so sorry, people playing Chrono Cross. Uh, nothing is updated here. <laughs> it, but it's true! It really is true. I don't know why the guides are this bad. There's really no reason for it. Oh, well, I guess we could go to the Water Dragon Isle. 
I guess, since I'm here. We might as well check it out. I forget if it's in the home world or not, but you know what? We'll have a happy little journey either way. I think they're, they're, they're in the other universe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think they're in the other universe. Okay, let's go back. Is it, I think we did everything that we needed to do already. There we go. That time I selected the correct lily pad. I guess we'll just go back here for now. We've taken most of the dragons out at this point. So honestly, we just need to use more of the other elements. So fire is technically called for. Water we've had forever, so we have that one basically on lock. We need white dark. Which we could do at any point with our team. I'm not really worried about that. I guess we could briefly... I guess we'll remove Pikmin for now, just to put Draggy in for fire kills. Since we could probably just get the Pirate Shore out of the way now. Yeah, I don't want to fight those things. I don't mind fighting the Cat Beasts or the other things. Just the other enemies are more likely than not to spam annoying burn stuff and waste my time. Whereas these enemies, I'm not really worried about. The Shenron almost soloed one of those enemies, which is kind of funny. Oh, now you guys don't want to activate fire magic? Whatever, right, chat? Whatever. I'm trying. Are you guys trolling, or are you just not going to activate? Ooh, there we go. I almost killed by accident there, chat. What a close call. Anyway, done. So yeah, we're going to have all the water and fire that we need, and we just need to focus on light dark at some point. Like, this, like we have enough that we don't ever have to use it for the rest of the game kind of a balance. Because I don't think we'll end up with 21 uh, rainbow shells, unless this is also used in something else that I'm not aware of. These poor enemies can't even injure us. Yeah, you can see our damage is out of control for sure. Okay, so we'll make sure not to freeze the lava. So I just wasn't sure if we could reach it or not. Sometimes we can go up ice slopes, sometimes we can't. Uh, so let's try it this time. Perfect Pendragon Sigil. So we avoided losing that item. What about here? Seriously? You attack me opening a chest again? That is so rude. We're pretty low on health, which is annoying. I'm gonna make sure everybody has at least one spell level for heals. There we go. That should cover our healing. <laughs> Three heal walls, yeah, that's about right. Yeah, so I think that's what we missed in the other universe was the red brooch. But anyway, let's go ahead and use freeze. Why does it not work in some areas? Hello? There we go. Yeah, it's a shame you can't just walk back up here. Okay, so the dragon should be here. I don't want to fight yet. I want to see if we can steal anything. Oh, there's no chest over here. We fought you last time. Fire Dragon says, Hey, lad. Hey, we. so we meet again. You look a bit different, but I know it's you. 
Come on, challenge me again. What do you say? If you beat me, I'll give you the dragon relic and my pet salamander. Oh. Oh, he literally is the red dragon. Oh. I guess that kind of makes sense. Do I want to set up for him, though, is the question. Like, we definitely don't need Infernos, right, chat? Like, I'm pretty sure that's what he uses, which just doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, I think he just has Inferno, which we have, like, five trillion of. Let's not bother. Really? Did he interrupt my combo again already? We're 95% steal. You better steal. Magic ring? What? Not red plate? What? Did we get RNG'd into, like, a bad item? Hold on. Eve. We just get trolled? What? Yeah, we're fighting his little minion here. That is the red dragon. This is his pet salamander, I think. I, I mean, I definitely don't want magic ring. I'd rather have red plate. Like, is it a is it like a rare item for some reason on him? Or is there like a round two where it matters? So let's try this again. What? Hold on, chat. We're we're looking this up. This is why is this boss not giving it? Is there more than one form? Sorry for double checking. Unless we fight him more than once? But I thought this was the second time we fought him. Oh, okay, there's gonna be another phase after this. Okay, that makes more sense. Like, I was like, wait a minute, why is he breaking the sequence? These enemies normally give us the plates. Okay, that makes more sense. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing a free elemental absorb, which I think is actually kind of worth getting. Uh, let's just do some damage. So now that he does that, I could have stolen the other item. Okay. So we gotta wait for that to happen. Why his items change when he transforms, who knows. But at least now we know. Alright, so we're just gonna wail on him and not worry about too much. Sorry about that. This boss is not following the pattern of the other bosses. Just, just gotta double check. Because I think Elemental Absorb is huge. Especially since it means I could put Red Plate on Fargo and he's just immune to his own weakness. And he's already tanky enough that it doesn't really matter. It just makes sense to double check. <laughs> this one is special! Yeah, I don't really care if they go all fire on us, to be honest with you. That damage is insane. Yeah, we're gonna force them into phase two for sure off of this. Alright, so now Burger King should be able to do something. <sighs> Get interrupted immediately, which lowers his accuracy. How annoying. I hope this is good enough, or I'm going to be very sad. There's a very high chance Burger King is not going to survive this battle because he's opposite element of what we're fighting. There we go. So I'm just going to assume he's dead. Yeah, just... good assumption. Damn, our damage is so good. Uh, let's eagle eye Shenron.
Maybe still do some damage. Uh. Good. Oh, he doesn't have a revive on him. That's right. I'm gonna block once. Burger King did get flame grilled. He did not like it. Damage was kind of high, but that's fine. So I can afford to spell cast with him every turn to heal. I'm not too worried about this, even though we're down a party member. Yep. Game. <laughs> right, chat? Okay, I'm a little worried if we just whiff, whiff, whiff. Like, come on. Stop that. Bad game. You're getting the finger wag. Alright, so if I just alternate who heals, we should be good. And with Shenron in case I get targeted. Shenron's gonna do some big damage here, I think. Yeah, maybe I should give him the the sunglasses, honestly. He attacks like forever. Yeah, that was just kind of BS. But let's just do this because he's gonna get his spells back. I think the boss is almost dead. I could try to revive before going for a kill. Did a lot of damage. Let's go for one of our revives. Let's go for our strongest one if we got it. Okay. Boss is leaning, which is a good sign. Should have some decent recovers. So it should put everybody out of kill range now. Sadly, if we had if we had Pikmin, we would have been able to use summon magic and kill this boss. So sad that we don't have him. Should be out of kill range. Let's use Holy Light since it's so buffed right now. That's some good damage. GG. Yeah, it is kind of annoying having to bring one character whose weakness is the boss in order to steal. I really think steel should have been a, a rare but swappable element if they really wanted to keep it this way. Oh well. Star level attained. More strength up for Burger King. More magic for Lynx. Health for Shenron. A Salamander. Mm, we'll meet again. Burger King received the red relic. We got another spell slot for Lynx. That is a very high level spell slot. I think I might put a Graviton up there. Just so we have more AoE dark magic. I think that just kind of makes sense to do. And Ron, I don't think I learned anything. Burger King, I think got a slot somewhere. No, never mind. They didn't go up. That's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, we still have Thunder Snake and Genie we could assign to people, but we don't have any level 8 character slots yet. Sword by attack. So we do have, like, the high-end magic if we really want it. So I think at this point we can bring in Radius if we want to get more green kills, because I think that was the only one we didn't get a lot of. It's, like, good enough for now. Raggy's gonna get another chance to kill with summons here, depending on who's with this enemy. Never mind, they're not gonna get a chance. GG. Yeah, never mind. But I have more mini level ups for the team. At least our thief character is constantly getting bonus stuff. Go this way. Ooh. Um, let's get into a fight here. One more fire magic kill should make us get close to 17, so we don't need to use fire magic for the rest of the game. So I basically just want to use one element and then fire without doing anything else. Burger King just needs to use a turn red here, and I think we're good. Now Shenron just needs to build meter. So close to killing them by accident. Oh, they're too weak. They're too weak. So sad. We're, we're too strong. I can't farm them for summons anymore. How annoying. 
ointments recovered. Okay, that was sort of worth it. I don't have to recover those now. Okay, so that's out of the way. So we still have the water dragon we haven't done, and I don't think we did the anything involving the sky dragon stuff. The sky dragon is last. We already did the earth stuff. I don't think there's anything here I wanted to do. I guess I could try to get uh, black summon magic out of the way. I could swap in Pip and Pikmin for now. See if these enemies can survive my wrath. There is a decent amount of fire magic enemies here, but if I fight the skeletal bird, I might be able to get a summon kill in here. Because it is getting to the point where I should probably try to get at least one more dark summon kill. Although I might have to unequip sunglasses because we are just hilariously too strong. So I know I could just force him to do... Oh. That's actually bad. That could kill us. Didn't, fortunately. We can force them to make it all Dark Element. I just don't think this enemy can survive our turn. We hit him. Yeah, we might have to unequip Sunglasses. So he's naturally going to turn the field black. Yeah, we're too strong. So let's unequip Sunglasses and try again. There you go, chat. Our protagonist is actually, quote-unquote, too broken. I need to nerf him real quick so we can do damage. So I could make him go back to the Silver Swallow if I want to. I think it's just more important I get rid of Sunglasses for now. If anything, that buffs his hit percentage higher. No, I think he's using everything. Unfortunate. Hoping this is multiple enemies. If not, we'll move on. It's not a big deal. Alright, so they, we're doing 40 less damage, maybe? Any, of course he crits, of course. Alright, chat, throw your hands in the air, of course. Doesn't matter. I mean, if you crit, of course he's gonna die. And he can't survive us. Damn. Maybe we are just too good for what we have. And we can see the different sunglasses made. What was that? 40 damage on a hit, and that could get multiplied by crits. So our total damage is kind of insane right now on this character. So he has like the best weapon, insane crit potential. Everything dies. Go back to the Dead Sea Ruins. Maybe some kind of dragon treasure will open it. They're saying, maybe it's the dragon tier. It used to be kept inside a shrine in Golda, but someone from the village stole it. Hmm. Alright, we don't have to worry about that now, but we might have to go back to Golda on the other worlds. Uh, do I want to do anything here? Actually, I don't think I do. So we are in another world already. What happens if we go to Golda now? Or maybe we have to go when we're done. We'll, we'll go when we're done. Let's go to uh, Water Dragon Place for now. Or actually, I changed my mind yet again. There's somewhere I do want to go here. Let's go to Gaia's Navel before I forget to do that. I'm more likely to forget about that since we already got the dragon for the other place. Let's see if we can save the Beavas. Here we go. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Are they quawling among themselves? It's pretty one-sided. What should we do? We should definitely help out. Stop. Aren't you comrades? What? What you be looking at? He be not one of us. And neither be you. We be finish them off later. So this is a totally optional thing that we could do. So let's go ahead and do it now. Uh, we were probably going to one-shot any of these on... Yeah, I was going to say on a decent hit. We're a little, we're a little strong, chat. <laughs> if you want to get an understanding of where we are compared to the beginning of the game. Also, I love that that little mini battle gave us a strength up on Lynx. Like the game was like, you know what? You could do more damage. <laughs> I believe in you. 
everybody got a little tankier, which I'll take. There we go. We saved Biba. Thank you for helping you. You Biba brave. This Biba a token of my appreciation. Biba ancient fruit, which grows in ancient ground. Received ancient fruit. I like it has to wait for the music to finish. I don't know if that Biba to your liking, but that fruit Biba tasting good. If you run out, don't Biba afraid to ask for more. I have plenty. I owe you for helping me out. There we go. Um... Is it worth swapping in certain characters at this moment? Maybe? We should probably put Radius back in so we can get more green. But we don't really need more fire. I think we got enough of that. We could get more green, so that, that way we could get green out of the way. Yellow, I think we could also get a couple more at some point. Let's try to do some summons. We summon from over here, right? Use the Viva fruit. There we go. So again, purely optional. We already did the dragon in the other world, but we might as well just go here. Wow, it dropped us right on an enemy. <laughs> You can't make that stuff up, Chad. It was like, listen, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna get an opportunity to do anything. You better like where we're putting you. Holy, that was maximum rudeness. Actually rude. Do some purify on Jenkins, which is forcing Pip to use more abilities. But I'd rather have Pip in the party over Pikmin, just because Pip can still technically level up. So if we could get like three or four more green, I think we're in a good place, because only four is honestly not enough. And that is a fantastic level up. Strength, magic, resistance, and health. Really can't ask for more, honestly. So he's catching up to Pip in terms of strength, and his magic score is way stronger than Pip's. Which means we just have to make sure... Yeah, see, our other party member didn't even land yet. So we just have to make sure that Pip at some point levels up. So that means just spamming more spells. Yes, there's nothing up here this version. Game, please. Come back to me. Thank you. So I'm hoping for, let's say, like, 10 more summon kills. This might be worth doing. We're gonna make sure this guy gets destroyed, because he's gonna be really annoying if he's allowed to do things. And he was allowed to do things, because I whiffed an attack. How annoying. Pip. The enemy should eventually get rid of what they need. That guy spams way too many red moves for me to not deal with that. Jenkins just needs to get meter back and he should be good to go. We could do like a very simple heal all because I put that in here on purpose just to help with other people's elements. Oh, he's turn green on me. Okay. I don't know why you would help me, but sure. We're going to weaken each of them a little bit. That way, it should hopefully still one-shot. Our magic score did go up, but we didn't hurt them very much, so hopefully this is good enough. Aw, oh, one of them lived. Unfortunate. I mean, he's doing, like, 60 more damage with it, so he definitely has one of the stronger summons we've seen so far. Down a right from that battle is worth it. We just leave poison on for now, because we're just going to get poison constantly. Let's see, is this the path with treasure, or is the other path what we need? Damn, it was the other path again. Brutal. Well, let's go back. Do we know that enemy at least should probably grant us some extra... There we go. <laughs> Should grant us some extra chances at green summon material. There's a decent place for yellow if we fight the paper monsters and unequip ourselves. Alright, so as long as the whole thing goes green, we should be good here. We're gonna burn out his stamina. 
We're gonna use Eagle Eye on Pip. That way Pip is more likely to level up something. And we're going to just attack a little bit here. I missed the 99% again, Chad, I would just like to see. Also, I forgot Pip had no green at all, so we'll just make him defend now. Cool, turn greens. This should just be an easy kill now. So with Jenkins, with his earring, he goes from 339 to 379. I guess that's not too bad. Because we're wondering how much it added before. So I don't know if that's a flat amount. It adds 40 or it's based off his health. Anyway, that's one less green summon material we need. Nice. What's in here? More Denadrite. You know what? I, as I said before, I'm okay with this. We're actually getting a pretty good amount of cash because we have the Profiteer purse on Radius. Enemy up here, but no items, right? And no items. So no point to really fighting him. Game, please. Hello? Hello? Game was really determined to make sure I did not go down that path, apparently. I want to fight this enemy. He comes back. It's stuck for some reason. And we're going to go get that chest, which is probably going to be more damage, right? Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. All we need to do now is kill the guy that does a different element, and we should be good. Of course. I'm gonna have links. Melee this guy, there we go. And just use heal all. I think what would make more sense is if I melee first. Then we go for some melee here. So one, two, one. Just a couple of pokes. We don't need to do that much more damage. We just go for a heal all. Like one more hit on this guy. I believe this is good enough. I think we went from four to five. There should be seven, I think, that we have. So more than enough to get what we can create at the moment, because I think we only have four shells. So again, this is more prep for the future. So I might as well do it now since we're here. Because it's not really going to get easier as we get higher level. Because we're going to probably fight more enemies that spam more elements. So we should just take care of it when we can. Okay, there is a chest there, but it's not clear if I can climb this or not. Not be able to. Alright, so we'll go down a path and we'll go get the other chest. Good to see the game played and fast forward. Yeah, there's... T there... The areas are a little too big. I think it suffers from the same thing Suikoden 3 does, where like the areas are just way too large compared to like the 2D equivalency. So originally I wasn't gonna speed up, but like honestly, there is just too much walking in this game. Because everything is like really vastly pulled out on top of that. So what we'll get into one more fight. Especially if you can compare, like, a large forest area, like in Legend of Mana, how fast it was to go between areas. It really starts to add up. Uh, so let's weaken a bunch of these just a little bit. And I've never been a fan of long attack animations anyway, so that I don't mind in combat. Um... Uh... Weaken this guy up once or twice, and we should be good. I have Carnivore if I really want to use it. Let's use a better healing spell. You know, Poison has surprisingly not really done that much to our health total, to be honest with you.
I didn't use Stingar. There we go. We should have everything we need there. Let's go this way. I think once we go back over here, we should be good. Actually, you know what? It's faster to go this way. Take that back. The other enemy wants to fight me, it can fight me. Oops. I don't know why I tried Astro Ambuling there. With you on the attack animation, skip for the game, sweet up and need the grind. Yeah. Especially since we have to do like a, a lot of summon kills. I kind of don't want to see the summon animation in particular at normal speed. Kind of like Final Fantasy X when the international version allows you to skip summon animations versus the original NA version and you just have to sit through all that nonsense. Sometimes you just don't feel like sitting with it. We got Viva Fruit for later, so we got everything optional there. We got a few extra kills. Not as many as I was hoping for, but at least it's something. Like, we got another four-ish. We should still be good for equipment. I don't think we'll be making more than three or four a piece. So at this point, we're mostly just looking to see if any of these other characters are kind of insane. Like, 24 magic is really high for a blue magic character. It also has decent strength. Although, funny enough, Miss Fish still way outpowers Harid. Can we talk about how broken Miss Fish is, chat? Like, what are what are her stats? <laughs> like, hold on. Is, is the other character just, like, really underleveled? Let's just check real quick. Miss Fish just actually busted. Yeah, she is more strength than the average ranged characters. I don't know if she just max rolled or, like, what the deal is with her. Let's compare a... Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Hmm. This might actually not be a bad area to get yellow summons out of the way. Hmm. Okay. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to very briefly pull out a character that can yellow summon, and we're gonna kill these four enemies, since they are definitely tanky enough to survive. <laughs> she does so much damage. That wasn't even high-level magic. What a character. Alright, let's see what kind of a mini level up they get. She got a strength up. Wow, chat. Some characters are just built different. <laughs> like, re really? She's getting more stats? So, let me get this straight. She's tankier than Harid. She's more evasive than Harid. She has the same accuracy as Harid. She's a better magic grid than Harid. She has, like, eight or so magic advantage and strength advantage and health advantage. What a character. Chat, some characters are just not built equally. She's, she's like, hold on, let me just upgrade real quick. Don't mind me. I mean, this is why we've been leveling Miss Fish. Be real with you. When when we are done with the game, chat, and we've had it with whatever the game is trying to throw at us, just unleash that and it's over. I think Norris had our ability slash belts. If I remember correctly. He does have our summon, right? Real quick. Yes, he does. Um, I guess I'll give him refall. Why not? Are we out of gravitons? I should probably buy more. Uh, actually, I could just make this electric bolt. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay, I have a lot of low and spammable stuff. Speaking of which, 
Miss Fish, do you have anything else you could- you know what? You just- you just get a random yellow spell. This will help me out, I think. I don't even care if it's good. Just put it in here. I love that, like, we haven't even bothered using her- all of her slots. Like, she's just so, she's so strong, it doesn't matter. Like, there's no way the enemy's getting a turn. Like, if she runs out of level 7s, we're- we must be fighting, like, a final boss. I'm convinced. <clears throat> okay, we'll take three enemies here. So if we kill these enemies twice, I think I'll have everything I need. And since they're in such a high... ...demand, I think we should be fine. We'll weaken them a little bit, because... ...not everybody's as strong as, uh, Miss Fish. <clears throat> Words you wouldn't think you're true, but are true. She is, like, out of control in this playthrough. Anyway, hopefully we get a couple kills here. We weakened everybody a little bit. <clears throat> Ooh, somebody lived with just barely enough health. So sad. Well, hopefully he gets magic up on this level up so that doesn't happen again. <clears throat> Excuse me, he did get magic up. Okay. Let's do that one more time. Because I think we had 9. This will put us close to, I think, 14 or 15, which is good enough for me. As long as it's not solo enemy, we should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. So we'll weaken everybody with links. Okay. A little bit of weakening here. I think I weakened everybody pretty well this time. Plus this magic is higher. <clears throat> this should give us all we really need for now. Who knows, maybe Miss Fish will get more stats for no reason. Yeah, there we go. A solid 396 damage. I love that she's still upgrading. Oh, let me click so I can see the chat easier. Yeah, I don't know why her stats are that high. <clears throat> I love the online guide saying, like, so-and-so is a better character, and blah blah blah, and then, like, I'm like, did you see Miss Fish? She is, like, absolute S-tier. Like, <laughs> she is just, like... Her stats don't make any sense right now. She's a mage character that is tankier than all the average characters, both literally in the health department and physical defense, and her magic resistance is higher too. His belts was like above average <clears throat> for us, but Miss Fish is just out of control. Like she, she's a legit monster, Chad. Like she hasn't even been enjoying mini level ups in a while, and she's just still better than like every character. It's kind of insane. Like she, she was rolling max. Like. Look at the difference between Miss Fish and Angie Toad. That's all I have to say. Some characters are just built different. Dual strength at 40 is kind of interesting. That is still not competitive with Lynx, but it's getting better. So I could technically start statting up Quizel, I guess. Try to get more abilities. I don't know. I don't know if it matters, to be honest. I think she's just kind of too far behind compared to everybody else at this point. <clears throat> like, her magic is solid, don't get me wrong, but, like, her strength score is atrocious, her agility is atrocious, her health is super bad, which we've seen was a problem in a couple of fights already. Or I could just play Pikmin, who has way higher overall strength, and you could just bully people. So if, it's, if it's between those characters, I'd rather pick the characters that could just bully enemies. Um, is there anything else we need to do before we go to the Water Dragon place? I guess I could check out Marvel real quick. Could get more traps if I want to. A <clears> few <throat> more Deluges. We definitely do not need Inferno. That one was- this one is such a bait. We have like 20 Infernos and we've not used a single trap. It's actually insane how many we have. 
Uh, I probably want more carnivores. And I'll buy a couple more tornadoes. I don't want to buy ten, though. It's a little excessive. Game, please. Uh, I don't really care about these other abilities. Alright, so he doesn't have what I'm looking for here. That's fun. Speaking of which, can we, can we rest here and just cure the status ailment real quick? No? Maybe it's the other hut that we could. We technically need to recover our stars at some point. I might as well do it now, since I'm not doing anything important. So we can't sleep here in this world. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah, their dragon's not here. <clears throat> right, so we just need to sleep somewhere at some point. I guess... Let's go to Goldub for that. Or will the doctor not let us sleep here? I don't remember. I think we can use our main home, but at this point, I, I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> I just find it annoying that the inns are, like, not really close to the entrance of towns. Whatever. Uh, I guess then we'll go to the water place. <laughs> Sounds like me in college, I need to sleep somewhere at some point. Pretty much, we're just kind of looking for a mini upgrade. Also, poor Pip is so injured. I guess I could cure the poison. Okay, these enemies are actually decently tanky. So depending on what element they use, I might be able to uh, take advantage of that. If these guys don't use element at all... Also, the fact that it starts with double blue is kind of sick. So if I really wanted to, I could bring a water element character here. Or not to. So yeah, we need to keep using Pip to get the upgrades if we want to show him off. Okay, we still need to get rid of poison. These enemies didn't really do anything. That makes me think. If we could get more basic black abilities in, I might be able to abuse them for easy kills. Oh, we do have a genius. Okay, that's actually perfect then. Do you have a genius? This also means using the summon magic is just stronger. You have a genius. Okay, then maybe we're fine here. We have so many overpowered moves, chat. Like, holy. I guess I could technically teach him Freefall if I want to. Why not? some Gravitons. I think weak minded is a little much. Let's put a genius on him so I have a black element. weak minded is fine versus bosses, but we're not fighting any of those right now. So let's see if we can get away with just, like, silly slaps to the enemy so we can finally get black uh, kills as well as white kills later. Although, not killing an enemy with this character might be harder than expected. I'm trying really hard not to kill them, chat. Trust me. Holy. Oh, that's not too bad. He, like, instantly flinches them. It's kind of funny. the only enemy I've not instantly murdered. I didn't see them use any elements, so it's possible I could just defend here and get away with this. I 
think we gave Pip Genius on the next tier. Okay, so these enemies don't seem to uh, attack with elements. Seriously. If they use an element now, I'm gonna get salty. Okay, they didn't. Good. I was <laughs> gonna say. And we're gonna use Genius. Then we just need to do one more strike on an enemy, which I think I could do. Oh, come... <sighs> Whatever. I tried. We're just... We're too strong. But at least we'll get some black kills. <laughs> I'm, so I'm sorry. That did 11... That did 1,100. Okay. That doesn't seem very fair. Well, anyway, that goes towards our super weapons later. So apparently if we could set up the protagonist, he's just gonna end the fight, chat. Just... A apparently. Just the fight is over if they decide to fight him. So it might be worth going for. Have you come to this island seeking the Dragon God? If so, please turn back now. Due to the abnormal weather conditions, the fountain has run completely dry. Whatever, we're going anyway. Now we have the... We have way too many items. Um... Rai Keepsake. Don't mess with me. What? Why doesn't... Wait. That doesn't let us go through the mirrors? I'm so confused. That definitely does. Is there a reason I can't get through here? One second. So, in the other area, we use that to go through the Isle of the Dead in order to deal with them. Unless we can't do anything here in this world, and it was the home world. Let me double check. Interesting. So we can't come back here for some reason. But we can fight the dragon in the other world, which is kind of annoying. I thought they would be here, but whatever. So... Is that just, like, forever locked to us? Normally we could go through that. We don't have any, like, dialogue when we get close enough. Unless it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you did it in the wrong position. This is definitely the keepsake that we use to get through there. That's fine. I think that just limits us down to one dungeon. I just view this as we got soot from coming here. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, it does get a little confusing, especially after breaks, where the dragons are. Because you know where they quote-unquote are, but like what version of the world they're in. It could be lost on you when you take little breaks. Right, now that I'm at Arnie Village, and I sleep in this hut, it save me some time later. Yes. Good. There we go, chat. Star power reacquired. Also, why they decided to limit the number of summons equal to the stars you have, that I also don't really get, to be honest with you. It's a mechanic, I just feel like it adds unnecessary things to it. There's not like a tent equivalency in this game where I could just go to a save point and recover them. At least not to my knowledge. So it forces you to use that if you want to use the summons, which is... kind of unnecessary. Okay, let's see if anything changed in Marble. We'll get there eventually. It's fine. We'll go back to this dumb place again. Uh, I'm going to remove Pikmin for now and just leave. Well, actually, I don't think it matters because there's a save point right before the boss. I'd rather play with Pikmin if it's between these characters. I don't really want to level Fargo unless we have to. Now we should be able to descend, and then when we're done descending, we'll move back. I think we got all the items that are here already. I think for the most part, I'll just get into probably one fight here, just to get a bit more combat experience. 
And again, the more he's in boss fights, the more attacks he's gonna see, so hopefully he'll evolve soon. Like his intense vibrating when he goes to cast the spell. So yeah, we're gonna force him to witness more abilities and use more abilities. Just four kicks, there you go. So I think he has to see like close to 100 plus of certain techniques. So we just have to put him in the party. But eventually he should level up. Now let's swap you out for Fargo, sadly. I don't like to do this, but the game unfortunately has rare items. Oh, what are these? I don't think we fought these before. We fought the other amphibian looking things. This I don't know. Sidestepa? There we go. I mean, it survived a combo for me, so it's like decently tanky. It didn't survive a full combo from us, though. <laughs> I think we could say, chat, we're just a little strong. Oh, Burger King got strength up? Nice, I guess. This is being treated as, like, a mini-boss, I guess. I suppose I should steal from it. Okay, so we're at 96% accuracy on the steal. Let's go ahead and go for it. Anti-red was stolen, okay. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna use it, but that's fine. I might as well just get extras while we're here. Rek, the water dragon's just beyond here. Okay. <laughs> right, Chad, I don't think this really matters, but sure. Time has come. I shall grant my powers to the ones who seek to break the eternal chains of fate. What is it thou seeks? Or well, we're going to save the Dragon God's blessing. Does thou need the power so the sleeping dragons to cross the Dead Sea? There we go. So yeah, so potentially we need to expose him to, like, over 300 counts. As I said before, if he gets attacked by it, it'll go up. So if he witnesses something used, it's plus one. If he uses it, it's plus two. And if he's targeted, he gets plus one. So technically, if he uses an ability on himself, in 100 casts, he should evolve. So we're probably going to force him to evolve very soon. Also, I should probably attack with Burger King first. Is Pip has been casting a decent number of spells, but we could do better. That did, like, literally nothing. It's kind of embarrassing for the dragon boss. The things like this add a plus two, for example. selected. Yeah, I think we could force him to evolve soon. Again, the more boss battles he's in, the more likely he is to evolve, too. At this point, I kind of want to just get hit by abilities, just so he can see them. Stuff like this. 
So he just got like a plus three equivalency. We'll just keep using Holy Light. So hopefully by the time we're done with the dragons, he'll have fully evolved. We could still make him change form based off of using other elements, but we've been using a lot of light attacks. So he should presumably go to the heavenly upgrade. This poor boss is just getting dunked on, by the way. I'm not even talking about how we're beating the boss. <laughs> it's how we beat every other boss. Lynx just melees him into oblivion. Alright, um... We could use Invincible. I still want to get Pit more abilities, so I think I'm going to Eagle Eye him again. Actually, I'm going to use Recover, just to make sure he evolves into Angel first. That's like another plus bonus. Again, he's just witnessing more attacks here. He's getting hit by stuff, so that all counts. And we can have him just cure as well. So the boss is pretty good at seeing different elements. I forget if blue is considered as part of the upper group that we want. Blue, white, and green all count towards making him more heavenly. If you want to think of it as like heaven versus hell. So this boss spamming a lot of blue attacks is actually really good for us. Because this might actually force the evolution by just witnessing this. Because think of it this way. He's not casting it, but he's getting plus two from being hit by it. Or plus three because he witnesses it as well. So if he sees probably like 30 or so more elements, I think he's good. What I think I'm going to do, I'm even going to cure on Pip. Like, now we're just trolling the boss. I'm not even fighting the boss to kill the boss. I just used it to give us more points. Hopefully this evolves him, but we'll see. I don't think we got the evolution. That's so sad. We got another spell slot at high level for Lynx. That's insane. Burger King leveled, whatever. Aw, uh, Pip didn't get a good level up there. That's unfortunate. Well done, son of man. Thy strength is worthy of my powers. Take with thee my prayers. There we go. Thanks has been bestowed with the blue relic. I too shall watch over thy fate. How thou strugglest to live, and how thou face death. Uh, we need to get into more fights immediately for Pip. Oh, pff. my movement is random because I have the flu. Chat couldn't tell, but uh, it was making me walk randomly. Um, yeah, this should be fine. So again, we're tr we're gonna try to give Pip more chances, and I believe he evolves at star level. So if he didn't level there, we still have some chances. So again, we're just gonna keep spamming heals. White and blue count. Fortunately, we have white and blue characters. Well, another anti red. use a nice little turn white on ourselves. Sorry for drawing out the combat, but I'm trying my best to level him. So just think every time he gets healed, it's plus three. We have to hit uh, 300. So I think we got over 30 in the last battle, so we just need to just constantly spam things like this and we should be fine. And we're having him cast it, which also speeds it up a bit more. Because he witnesses it, and he uses it. So we think he gets 4 instead of 3. Yeah, we're just going to be constantly using abilities up on Pip. You know what, that's fine. If he wants to use a blue ability, that still counts towards what we need. So I'm completely okay with this chat. <laughs> Remember, wh whatever whatever they attempt to use only makes us stronger. See, so yeah, I really don't mind being hit by blue offensive techniques here, because it does not matter if it's support or not, to my knowledge. and use a recover all. We 
whipped a few times, but that's fine. We can use a cure again on Pip. And again, he's just witnessing more blue attacks. Because I don't think it matters if it's a physical versus other. As long as we keep using white moves, this should be good. Nice kill. Dude, another recover. So by forcing the game to draw out longer, we should be able to target him repeatedly. I don't know if there's a minimum star level he needs to be in order to upgrade, but we should be getting pretty close. Because at this point we've added almost 30 again just in this battle alone. Just because he's witnessed at least two, so that's two points. He's been healed, I think, four times, which is at least 12. Maybe we just need a little more. Use Purify on ourselves. Doesn't matter if it works. Killed him by accident, but that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and use a Recover All. This is the most abilities he's seen in a while in one combat. Funny enough, I actually have enough to do the white magic attack. Maybe I should give Pip the, uh, the summit. Oh wait, I don't think he can, sadly. So yeah, every single one of those uses is three. So I think I've used seven healing at this point. So yeah, he should be evolving very soon. So we got strength up on Lynx, which is unfair. Burger King didn't get anything interesting. Pip with a very fantastic level up. Magic strength and everything else. That's exactly what we want. We're getting a lot of random cure pluses from the enemies, which is good. Um, I think in that case, if it's that easy to stack up white element, maybe I just actually bring uh, the Pikmin in. Because he is better slots than the other characters. Just give him a few more cure pluses, which we definitely have. So he's got two already. Maybe this is okay. I guess this is fine. This is four uses here. Kinda don't want to change his other tree. Guess I could get rid of anti-black for another cure plus. Guess that's fine. So let's see if we can get Pip evolved. So every battle's adding somewhere between 20 and 30 at this point. If he's able to turn element on himself, that also saves a lot of time. Although that's the wrong element. I have to make sure not to use too much black. I think that's why he hasn't evolved, is because we've been using a mix of white and black. If I had just stuck to white, he would have evolved by now. Let's make sure we use white here. This is another three points. It's gonna be another three points. Four points. Another three points. He's catching up slowly. And the fact that we're spamming so much white, it means he's probably going to be white innate basically forever. Which I don't really have a problem with, to be honest. He's using a trap element. I don't think this matters at all. Hmm. He's another recoverer. Another four points. I didn't use it on Pip, but I want to see if I could... Oh, I was going to say, if he didn't cast a blue spell, I wanted to see if I could summon. So sad. I got betrayed. We're going to cure plus on Pip for sure. 
we're going to probably purify immediately. We are getting really good at stalling out the battle here. Here's another recover all. So as I said before, it's a very high chance we're going to uh, level him soon. Yeah, black, yellow, and red are the other things. Oh, Pikmin got a strength though. Interesting. Actually, I'm not entirely sure if Recover All counts towards it. But either way, we have some other abilities being used. So we're getting at least a plus two whenever we do stuff. Um, let's weaken the Lagoonades, I think. Let's Purify on Pip. That targets him. That's actually good he got targeted there. I can recover all, which counts towards his total. So I know when he casts it, it counts. I just don't know if support magic, quote unquote, includes healing. But casting white spells should definitely count. I'm less worried about that. Um, so I think green was the other color that goes with it. So things like Eagle Eye actually matter, which is funny because that's like our most commonly used buff. So targeting him with this is also good for us. If we could kill these enemies, I might be able to build up a really nasty stack. But I might actually just use a low-level magic here. Turn black on Pip. Well, no, no, no. Like a cure plus on Pip. I'm trying not to kill them with damage, but we'll see what happens. Use Pip's ability to turn white on himself. I can use turn white on sidestep so he takes less damage. Let's use recover all immediately. Pikmin should hopefully be able to use a white spell soon. which I can use to use on himself. Pikmin just needs a couple more shots here. There we go. We finally get to use... Un oh, Unicorn doesn't do damage. Oh, that's why we haven't been building up any white elements. That's right. We don't have a damaging one. I guess I could use it for the sake of using it. Just to say that we did it. That's right. We have the super disappointing one. So we need the white dragon at some point, for sure. Uh, Probably want to recover all. So yeah, we've been spamming spells. Hopefully he should be very close to evolving at this point. I wish there was a way to see how close he was. But I think we're doing a pretty good job. I mean, it, it seems like we should be able to jump down, but sadly we can't. Ooh, this enemy came back. Sure. I guess I'll try to have Pip focus on offensive magic, see if it builds it faster for him. do 
use things like Holy Light here. So if nothing else, he should be white magic basically forever due to how much we've been spamming it. So he's witnessing more blue attacks, which is fine. That comes towards the total. We can do Eagle Eye on him, which should count. Come on, Pip, level up. You're so close. Cure plus on Pip. trying to trap an element on us. I don't know what he's even trying to trap, but it won't work. Um, probably purify on him. So actually, let's use a rhythm roll. Goodbye, enemy. So close. So we should have only one thing left to do. We just need, like, literally uh, a summon that does white damage. We managed to get some black summon kills, but we're gonna have to work on that, I think, in the future. Oh, I want God, that won't go straight down. That would just be too easy if it went the way I wanted it to go. So. I think at this point, we just try to go to the Sky Dragon Isle. If not, we'll go to Goldove. It doesn't really matter. Like how this enemy is just chasing a butterfly. Yeah, we might have to go back to Goldove. Yeah, I don't see anything d worth doing here. I think otherwise we're uh, making some good progress. Did the Water Dragon, we did Gaia's Navel got a bazillion denadrite. I guess I could see if there's anything we could smith while we're here. I think for the most part our most used characters have the upgrades already. Could improve the damage. Oh, what? we went it to 22 denadrite? We were at 3 earlier, by the way, chat. We picked up a lot in this session. <laughs> I could I could improve um, the mermaid's weapon damage, which is kind of funny. She does not need it. Spoilers. Uh, Let's see. I think all of our important characters are already upgraded, sadly. Unless I just want to get another stone mail. Which I guess is not the worst thing ever to purchase. Let's get one more mithril helmet. Or I could get a stone helmet. Let's get a stone helmet. We'll save the rest of our money for later. We're gonna need it for uh, other upgrades. I think this team currently- oh, this team actually doesn't have nothing but the best. Okay, then we can improve Pip's defense, which I'm sure Chad is not sad about. Should be a massive damage boost. This magic attack power is 28. We get a resistance spell and technically get more damaging option. Maybe that would make sense for Pip. Like a small attack boost. So far, resistances have not really panned out for getting the resistance belt, but whatever. I think we're in another world, so I should be able to do this now. Remember, we were not allowed to go all the way to the left before in the home world, but I believe we could go in here now. No, we still can't get further. What should we do now? Okay, now we're getting a cutscene. At this rate, we won't be able to borrow the Dwagon Tier. Speaking of the Dwagon Tier, should we return to the Broken Tier to the Shrine in the Otherworld? The Shaman in the Otherworld might be able to help us somehow. Okay, so now we're getting some dialogue at least as to what to do. Alright. So we got that cutscene out of the way at least. So can't do anything yet. If 
trying to think. Is there a dragon that we didn't fight? Is there a way to quickly see which one we didn't do? We have green, yellow, blue, red, black. So we're only missing white. Okay. So can't do anything here. Oh, we're in home world. Oh, that's right. My bad. I thought we were in another world. I lost track. <laughs> Slash was not paying attention to the map. We should be able to do something now. But let's go to Sky Dragon Isle. That is the last one we, that we need. Um. I guess what I could do is we could try to farm some trappables real quick. People buy Ultra Nova, right? So let's just get 11 of these. Do we have an almost all white party fighting the white dragon? So we could just steal from him repeatedly and then actually kill him with somebody else. I think that's the plan. That seems fair, right, chat? Just just, just have a team that's basically immune to the, what the boss does. Also, wait a minute. I'm using Mithril Mail on this character and not Snowed Mail? Wow, okay, well... I apparently just upgraded the protagonist. I thought for sure he had Stone Mail, but maybe that was just for the other fight. He, he, Chad, he's just so strong, I can't tell. He just doesn't die. He does like a million damage. Let's save. You should be able to run. Sky Dragon has come back. That's what we want to see. Right, so there should be something to do up here now. Talk to you. 100 years before the humans from the continent came here, the Dragonians and Demi Humans still existed in great numbers. Okay. I guess we'll farm his but I mean, what is he going to do? I don't think he could do anything. Welcome, humans. I am the Sky Dragon of the White Element. Well done. Thou hast gained the protection of the five dragons. Let me test thy skills to see if thou art worthy of entering the Sea of Eden. Let's go ahead and just steal. Because we know this should happen eventually. And then we just gotta survive until the boss decides to do whatever it's gonna do. And the best part is I think this will count towards Pip seeing additional elements. I'm kind of okay with this. Right, chat? Like, okay, you targeted Pip, sure. Kind of okay with this. Right, chat? Like, okay. Magnify to buff damage. I guess I could just go for a quick heal or two here. I think Holy Breath will probably hit Pip. That did insane damage to the protagonist. That's not good. So we're going to have to use Diminishes when we're playing this seriously. So as long as we have a Diminish, I don't think this boss will be that hard. So we just need the boss to use Ultra Nova, and then we leave. Minded. Minded. This seems like a very brutal fight for the protagonist. It's using White Breath. Null state. Okay, so it's going through a loop. Hmm. We might have to wound the boss a bit more to see the attack. That should help significantly. Holy healing. Oh, gross. Right, chat? Ew. I don't want to accidentally kill this boss. That's what I'm worried about. 
You might have to actually bring Fargo in, which is kind of annoying. On the plus side, I can poke at him with Pip and other characters. Lynx, I think, will help initially. I might have to just leave Lynx dead, to be honest with you. I don't see how he's going to survive multiple attacks from this boss. Use a Soothe here. Which, again, presumably running from combat does not remove his things that he's seen. But I don't know if that's been tested. Let's wound him a bit more. Alright, so he's definitely in critical state now, so let's wait. See if he does anything different. Almost one-shot us. So we should have Cure Plus. That's significant healing. Let's use a Recover All. Forever Zero. All things become eternal nothingness. Oh, so we did unlock a 7th level technique for free, by the way, chat. Interesting. Very interesting. Definitely gonna heal. Everybody's out of kill range. So, I mean, he's already pretty strong. Negate magic is fine. So this is a new magic that it's doing. We needed to just do something else, then we should see it. White Breath. Null State. So it's a different pattern, but I'm still not seeing Ultra Nova, which is kind of annoying. All I want to see is Ultra Nova. And at the rate that this is used, I might just skip... I might just skip farming it. If it's this annoying to do, I'm not doing this five more times. You know what I mean? Oh, that did insane damage to us. What the heck? It's so annoying. I'm not going to get to the point where it's useful. I really hope I don't accidentally kill him with Pip. That would make me so sad. I should survive another attack. But he's still not using what I need him to do. Another cure plus on it, maybe? Yeah, so he did a different pattern, but he's not doing what we need to see. It's kind of annoying. Oh well, if I lose an Ultra Nova, it's fine. Yeah, I think he's just not going to use it at this point. There must have been, like, I have to interrupt a specific attack to see it. Kind of like when we were fighting Miguel, and he did, like, the one-shot when he got low. I think I needed to hit him low at a specific pattern to see the attack. So far, he's only used these moves. I think I'm just gonna run from combat now. Right, so I'm gonna give up on the Ultra Nova plan. Let's bring in Fargo and Steel. Hopefully that counted towards Pip's evolutions. We'll see, though. Let's have overrated thy skill. Yep, 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 whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna fight for real. But we need Fargo to steal a plate, because I think that's worth keeping on the protagonist for now. Because having immunity to his weakness is kinda huge. But sadly we did not get to see him use the ability. There must have been a trick to it. Don't feel like figuring it out. It's good. Right, chat? It's just one of those things where we see the boss has it, but if the boss doesn't use it, what can you do? It's kind of like when we were fighting the sun and it was RNG, whether or not it used the attack. I wonder if it was just bad RNG once it was in critical state. Man, she is just so underwhelming. Poor Quizel. Right, so we need Fargo. I'm gonna leave Pip in. So I just need this character with diminish? Or does it not even matter because we do so much damage? Honestly, maybe it doesn't even matter. Maybe it is brute force him. Oh, we finally unlocked another slot. I could put frog prints on him if I want to. Uh, probably replace the cures with cure pluses, if nothing else. Like He's actually very likely to use these. Let's do that. Got a decent amount of recoveralls. Yeah, that's definitely much better. Uh, so let's see. That should be good. 
And we can use black magic to weaken the boss. Is there anything I want to do aside from what we have currently? I wish I had a couple more black spells. I wish... I, I need to go buy Gravitons. Graviton was definitely, like, one of the best spells that we have in the game. Like, no contest. It is just very, very strong. It's not quite Meteor Shower strong, but it is very good. I think the only thing I need to do is... No, I think this should be fine. The only thing I do want to make sure that we do is heal. Unfortunately, we've been picking up a lot of capsules from the other fights. Let's save this time for real, and let's try to fight the boss. So sadly, no Ultra Nova. Whatever. If we don't get it before the end of the playthrough, it doesn't really matter. I was just hoping to pick one up, but... Sadly, alas, boss pattern is annoying. On the plus side, we know if we keep the protagonist alive, he's gonna do like 6 trillion damage to this boss. We already saw that he could put it in critical state by himself. So all I need to do is that, and I think we're good. The only thing I'm going to do is just attack with Burger King first. Oh, and he attacks so it negated the accuracy bonus. Seriously? I mean, I'm going to go for it. If it doesn't work, we just reset the boss fight. This I don't like in Chrono Trigger. Slash, or excuse me, Chrono Cross. Let's do some... I guess I can use Graviton. This will negate his damage very significantly. That did almost a thousand damage by itself, chat. Just nod your head. Yeah, that seemed fair. So we're gonna nerf the damage he does to the party by doing this. Holy. He's actually just getting destroyed right now, chat. I mean, I'm going to spam another black spell to negate his damage. Because keep in mind, not only does it stop white from stacking, but then it also weakens existing white. Like, Null State's not great there for us. I mean, if I have another Graviton, I'm going to use it. So we're going to keep this boss in check. the damage <laughs> we just did like 1400 yeah this boss was uh yeah this boss was done <laughs> holy <laughs> dead already the crits are real chat holy more strength up yeah that's what links needed chat Ooh, pip with a great magic and strength level up that's actually huge okay we now finally have a white spell that does damage I acknowledge thy skill. We we'll grant thee the protection of the Sky Dragon. Link's received the White Relic. Hmm. The Dead Sea is disintegrated, and the gates of time have been opened. Earn the divine protection of the six dragons. Venture deep beyond the pearly gates across the dimensions. Yeah, yeah, we just whooped you real quick. Bye. <laughs> right, chat? You should fly away. That was embarrassing for you. <laughs> you should have been able to dominate our protagonist, but uh, we did hilariously more damage with just him. Sunglasses OP chat. Alright, now I think I could do something here. Let's go back to Goldove's Another World. Now, Curiosity, did I... Oh, I do have the Tier of Hate. Okay, good. It's been a little while, and we have so many key items. I could not remember if we had that. So now, I think if we go here, we should be able to get something special. One must choose one's own path. But as long as one is human, one will sometimes become lost. Pray that your journey will be blessed by the guidance of the six dragon gods. How can this be? This is without a doubt a piece of the dragon tier. Reg, I shall bestow upon you the dragon emblem, not to be confused with the fire emblem. 
It is the mark of a dragon shaman. Greg has been bestowed with the questionable emblem. The emblem and the dragon tear, been handed down by dragon shamans for generations. Though the worlds are different, you should be able to receive aid from the other shaman with this emblem. Now we could go deal with the other one, Chad. Make haste to the alternate world. Hmm. I will answer your questions to the best of my knowledge. What would you like to know about? Oh, no. Uh, um, I guess I'll ask her the questions. The land of Genesis. The land of Genesis. I have no idea where it may lie. But all phenomena have their reasons. I feel that there is some other will acting behind this. Something other than the fact that you're dead in this world. Yeah, this character is definitely Gene from Suikoden chat. I'm just saying. Like, 100% this is Gene. Can't tell me otherwise. The Dragon Tear. Is a one of a kind orb that our ancestors received from the now extinct Dragonians. Traditionally, it was passed down to each successive shaman, but someone has taken it away from Goldar. Go to the Dragonian ruins. Many buildings and sculptures built by the Dragonians can still be found in El Nido today, but most of these have withered away, and are only a small portion of them remain intact. The only one that retains its complete form is Fort Dragonia, which we have discussed before. It stands at the peak of Mount Pyre. Six dragon gods. As you may well know, the natural world is composed of a balance of the six elements. These elements are white, black, red, blue, green, yellow. Each one pairs up with the other to maintain the balance with which the natural world relies upon. The gods that represent each element are called the dragon gods. Since they symbolize the powers of nature, they're also commonly referred to as the gods of nature. Well, tell them we collected all the dragon balls, right, chat? If the sun is white, the shadow is black, the flame red and the water blue. Green are the leaves of the forest and the blowing winds. Yellow are the forces of Mother Earth. Frozen flame. A frozen flame. That is something we have not heard of in these parts. But there is something about flames in the oral lore of our tribe. I do not know if this is related to the flame you speak of, but allow me to share it with you. Be very careful when you stare into the flame. For the flame will stare back. It will either transform you into a different being, or burn you to ashes. Well, I think we can figure out what happened there. In an old poem of El Nido, there's a phrase that refers to the evil sealed away by the six dragons. The phrase that follows after it. The evil flame that sought to engulf the world. An evil flame. If this refers to the frozen flame, it should not be in the hands of humans. Yet the truth about this story is unknown. Okay. Go to the Divine Dragon Falls. This was about a hundred years ago. Four immigrants from the mainland came to, came to El Nido. The now extinct Dragonians, demi-humans, and our ancestors lived on the main island and now on the outlying islands. Yes, it was a time when the dragon warship was still common. Also, Chad, I missed an item. Damn. Damn, chat, we have to go back for an item. Humans and demi-humans live together in the same community. Must be a little hard to imagine today, but it is true. Remember the enemy that was seemingly not guarding anything? I think I had to interact with it. There's a frame. We, we could go get it. We haven't missed it. It's important we don't miss the frames. Everything else doesn't matter. The frames will make me sad if we miss those. The planet's power collects at certain points on the main island. One such point is the place we call... The, drag or the Divine Dragon Falls, but its name has been all but forgotten on the main island. Our tribe and the Demi-Humans are the only ones that know this name. Uh, I think we managed to get through the dialogue. Okay, so we got an optional item, which I guess we can interact with soon. I want to see if we can buy some Gravitons. And that reminds me, there's one additional boss I've been holding off on. I guess we could do it now. Uh, da, 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 da. oh, you're not the person I want to talk to. Oh, the merchants aren't here in the other world? Hmm. Hold on. It's worth getting more Graviton chat before we go further. I think it was here, right? Game, please. Game, please. I'm holding up. 
<laughs> when I hold up, I should not be rotating around the tent like that. Yeah, here we go. Let's get, like, a million of these. And obviously more Meteor Shower, because that ability is broken. Ah. So we have still a ton of money for upgrades, so I'm not worried about that. So, let's go get the thing that I forgot, and then I guess we'll go fight an optional boss, and then... Question mark, question mark, question mark? I guess we could continue further? So we already killed the Cryo Sphinx last time. So, after that, we'll go to the homeworld version of this place. I think we'll be neatly wrapped up. The other thing I want to double check... I'm not sure how good it is, but we could get at least a few of these. We're coming up to a place I should be able to get the insta-kill ability from Black. That might save us time as we play the game. Be worth getting a few of these. The question is, can we cast it without accidentally killing anybody? That's that's the real question. Ooh, if this is usable here, this would be huge for us. No. Freefall is, though. I want this on the main protagonist. I could just give him revenge just to get rid of our own status ailments because he doesn't have a purify. Maybe that would make sense. I do think that we don't have a lot of damage abilities. Let's make sure that this also ends up being a graviton for the future. Or at least a free fall or something. I'll get rid of one meteor shower to get one more graviton and then I think I'm good to go. Yes, we have a million things we could do to buff white damage. I'm not that worried about it. Let's get rid of one of these. So we already have Holy Light and we have a high level damage tech. We'll eventually replace this with more damage spells. So, with this in mind, we should be able to actually finally get this technique. I was gonna go and do this at some point anyway, so I guess since we missed doing something here, I have to come back this way anyway. Um, is there anything I want to swap? I guess I could do the other... matter? I don't think it does. We'll put Pik Pik Pikmin back in the party. Let's go get the item that I forgot. So this place should have given us the beep of fruit already. So we should be able to go back again. I am surprised I dodged that encounter. Especially on double movement speed, right chat? That was kind of impressive, honestly. So we're gonna go deal with this real quick. It wasn't on this screen, but it was on the next screen. I think I could go down here first. No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. We'll go back up then. I think it was up where that guy is stationary. Ooh, they started with Jurassic Beat? That's really bad for us. Who are they targeting? <sighs> the worst character they could have targeted. Are you serious? We are so lucky that didn't just kill one of our party members just outright. I might have to just give him immunity to status ailments. This, pl this place is very annoying. Definitely using Holy Light to get a kill here. No doubt in my mind that's what we're going for. There we go. Now we should be healed. Give Pip an opportunity to get more spell usage. Nice. Got more golem traps. Pointless. We already have it. This is the thing I think we need to deal with. Come 
on, Piff. You can finish him. Nice. So we're just using more attack spells. I don't think we need too much more to level him, to be honest. Like, I think it's safe to say he's he's been in the Evolve form. So that means he was at at least 120. And he was at the Evolve form before he joined this party. So it's safe to say he should be very, very close. I'm gonna use Holy Light here, so he witnesses it. Nice. Oh, he's evolving, chat. There we go. There we go. We forced it through. Worth. Angel Pip has arrived. Look at him flying higher, chat. That is a... Link, how is Link's getting more stats? What? He's at 49, chat. What the heck? Pikmin got his strength up, which is always good. Ooh, there we go. Pip is leveled again. Pip has a prehistoric drop something. We're gonna do the snakes and orbs frame for a little bit. That way we can say we used it. I still don't understand why you get these items in a weird order. <laughs> oh, look at that hideousness. Hmm. Let's see, what did that unlock for Pip? So far, nothing. Now before the power, exactly. Oops, I got stuck. It's the Great Pip, exactly. Well, this is huge. So, now that he's evolved, his stats should be much better. So if we keep using him, his stats will actually start to catch up pretty significantly. Because every form has, like, another level that they can attain. So it's good that we did it now. So he still will be kind of far behind compared to some other characters, but now he should start catching up the Pikmin a bit by just using him more. There we go. Let's go ahead and use the Beaver Flute. We have so many items, chat. Oh my gosh, why do we have so many key items? <laughs> we really need to do, like, Resident Evil style, throw them away if they're not useful anymore. I've greatly appreciated that. The closest we have is the Beaver Fruit. Alright, so we could go fight an optional boss now. I wasn't in a rush to do this one, because it doesn't really give us anything interesting. I mean, I could steal from it eventually, so I should probably bring Fargo. Leave Pip in the party. That way Pip will start to catch up. So I think there's only 48 star levels in the game on the first playthrough. So we don't have that many more before the end of the game, which is a bit of a shame. But we still have time for Pip to catch up. So if you might remember from before, to do this. I might not be allowed to do this. One second. Oh, you know what? I might not be able to do it from here. So if you remember from last time that we were here, we, we did a fight here. And if you remember, There was an enemy at the bottom of this place. But because we did it with the bug last time in the other world, it knocked the enemy out. But this time it won't be knocked out. Now we should be able to get into a fight here. Humans. Mankind. There we go. Forest is dead. Our Hydra perished. Meet mankind so much. Listen to the planet's woes, humans. So because we didn't save Kid, certain story elements will be a little different here. 
Hello there. There's a dehydrate. It's gonna use Graviton on us. I have to be very quick here. Hopefully we can do it in time. I'm gonna trap a black hole. Also, didn't I buy 10? Did that just say 5? Or maybe I can only hold 5 at a time. That's gonna do a couple of these attacks. We're just gonna wait it out. There we go. Nice and easy. Then we just run away. So that should be an insta-kill, by the way. Disappeared. What was that thing? I'm kind of spirit bound to this land. Greg, we should get going. Oh. Wait, is it like gone forever? Wait, wait, can we not farm it? What? Wait. Hold on, is this something I have to do in one try? I mean, good thing we saved earlier. I mean, that's kind of a Chrono Cross moment. Okay, so if we go through this whole place and we are not allowed to go fight that again, I'm gonna be like, Seriously? Protocross, please. I don't cure our little status ailment so I can move faster. I managed to avoid that battle. Let's see real quick. I mean, I did just save at least, so I know I'm not going to lose that much progress. If we don't touch the auto save, I can also just load the save. If so, that's kind of sad. I mean, getting five is probably more than good enough. I just don't know if the boss will physically be able to survive it. Really? I wish this was automatic usage. Okay. Now we're back here. So I just want to see if we drop down again, can we refight it? If not, we just reload the save. And we shake our head at Chrono Cross. We're making an, a boss that actually disappears when you run from it. Oh, I touched the save by accident, damn. Well, we did save earlier still, so we should be good. Alright, so I just have to do that every single time. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna actually kill the boss now. Th th this is far too annoying to do this multiple times, right, chat? I, I don't have the patience to travel two minutes every time I want to go get another upgrade. We're just going to go ahead and seal it real quick. I mean, I guess I could just force it to do multiples in one battle. It's good enough to say that at least we got one set of insta-kills. Do you know what I mean? So we'll have two abilities to instantly kill every enemy. So let's just focus on stealing here, I think. He attacked in between that might destroy my uh steel percentage <sighs> come on he really did stolen burger king should be able to attack now please don't miss i give you Okay, got a Damon Charm. Might be able to steal one more black hole from the boss. Oh, or I killed the boss. Oops. Yeah, this boss is kind of on the weaker end, so oops. I guess I could have done this last session. Found Freefall, though. That's good. We brought about any change by defeating that Hydra. Did we do the right thing? Who knows what's right or wrong? Nobody has the answer. Not even to wait Pip, chat. Not even Pip knows. Thank you, Kins. We should get going. Greg received Hydra Shadow. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. So I think that's it. I think we completed all the optional stuff. Welcome home. So that ability is for... I think Stina? We just gotta leave this place. The great angel Pip is here, chat. So 
I don't need Fargo for the moment, so let's get rid of him. She's 33 magic. <laughs> Why is it so high? Okay, let's see if Quizelle briefly can catch up. Let's just bring in some new people just to get a stat up real quick. I just want to see if their stats can even remotely touch the godliness of the mermaid, because honestly, her stats are out of control. These enemies real quick. Oh, Quizelle has no magic equipped. That's fine. We did get her level 7 earlier, so we might be able to see what it does. I think it just refreshes her elements. Yeah, it does. Whatever. Thank you, Shenron Jr. Let's see if her stats, like, rapidly whip up on this fight. I imagine so. Yeah, you can tell we haven't been using her in a while, because she got plus one to nearly everything. So she's a little more useful now. But if we do want to actually use the character, we should probably do little mini fights. So it does mean that if we need another white magic user, she's probably going to be one of our best. That damage is actually bonkers. I'll get rid of the gravity thing and just get another free fall in there since we unlocked it. Or I could just put Black Hole, honestly. Black Hole instantly killing everybody might be worth it. Ah, uh, her spell attack hits multiple people. That's interesting. Bonk, bonk. Let's see if she gets another good stat up, because she's pretty far behind, I think, compared to the other characters. Nope. We tried. Oh. Wraith. Don't really want to fight the Wraith. Yeah, this is Pip's final form, so we could technically make him enter other forms if we want to. But we have to spam, uh, double techniques. So we could just make him just cast nothing but black magic until he uh, swaps forms. Technically, you want to do that. Game, why are you messing with me? I use the green tinkler. You're killing me. I know. I know this. Why? Why didn't you activate? Hello? Chat, you saw me physically use that, right? Like, why didn't you do anything when I did this? Thanks, Chrono Cross. Should we name change him to Greatest Pip? Maybe. Yeah, we might be able to see Double Pip. Might require another playthrough to get it, though. Consistently. But essentially, we can level him up, and whatever slots he learns from his form will result in it being carried over to new save file. So originally, that was kind of bugged in the original version, from what my understanding of it was where his stats would also be terrible, and it was possible to lose bonus spell slots, depending on what you did. But fortunately, we should not have to worry about that. Put Pikmin back in the party. Pikmin's strength is actually scary high. Like, 43 strength is the strongest at our party. I think if because he's been getting so many mini level ups, he actually is unironically one of our best party members now. So we went from kind of average stats to pretty solid. Yeah, Pip's magic tree is pretty bad. Still can't use Saints. Damn, chat, one day. I mean, it looks really overpowered. It's a, basically a full party heal and a damage move all in one. Which seems like it would absolutely turn things around. I guess what we could do is... If I want to prepare for a future boss, I can move some of our traps around a little bit. We need Carnivore and Tornado at some point, but not literally right this moment. Uh, let's go ahead and just, I guess, equip some damage moves. So there's a faster way to scroll through this. Or actually, let's use Black Hole. Let's see if the insta-kill is actually worth the effort of getting it earlier. So now that we have the dragon emblem, we should be able to go to Gold of and get optional stuff here. Let's go ahead and save. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. We have to go to the homeworld version. My bad. I said that earlier, then I forgot. Also, I really wish there was a faster way to switch between worlds. Having to go through here every time is like, come on. This is why the other game gave us, like, the spaceship so that we didn't have to do this repeatedly in Chrono Trigger. Because this is the only spot I could do this on. I wish if I was just in the overworld I could flip it. Then it would be very quick. Like, I don't need to be, like, in a dungeon or anything, but, like, seriously, going there every time is so ridiculous. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, do you have what I want? Do you have what I want? Oh, no, you're the traitor. I don't... Okay. So. Now we should be able to gain entry to this place. Dragon emblem. It's a dragon emblem. How did a foreigner like you get a hold of it? Welcome, travelers across the dimensions. Bring them before me. Yes, if it is your wish, Mistina. Your right permission from the chief. You may pass, foreign travelers. So, I think we just got the... When we killed the Hydra earlier, we got her special ability, by the way. We haven't actually met her yet, but let's go talk to Sina, I guess, this version. I guess we'll go fight. Do a quick save. So I think this is the last thing that we have to do. We could get her level 7 now, I think, as well. As promised, I will lend you the Dragon Tear. I shall accompany you to the fort as well. Cena joined your party. Uh, so what do you want to name Jean? Definitely Jean from Suikoden. <laughs> like, this, this character design is like almost, it's like 90% the same, Chad. It's actually kind of insane. Even serves a very similar role in the later games. Terrace Pharma? No, that's not her name. <laughs> Blue Donna has spoken. Are you calling her Terrace Pharma? Dot, 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 yes. Okay. She's apparently Terra's Pharma. Oh. Apparently scrolling too far off to one side cancels the naming menu for some reason. It's fun. Alright, uh, we have Terra's Pharma. Uh, I do need her in the party briefly. So she's clearly supposed to be a magic character. But because we got her kind of late, her stats are kind of bad. She should scale pretty quickly at least. Yeah, she's definitely disappointing. Let's see if we can allocate what we picked up earlier. Might be at the bottom of the list, which is super annoying. Summon the Eidolon of whatever. Fine, we'll just assign it. I'll put it at the same place as the other ones. Um, I don't think it really matters what I give her, to be honest. We're probably not going to use her for very long. I'll give her just, like, a couple of recoveralls and, like, I don't know. Some damage abilities is nice, I guess. Give her some magma bombs, because why not? Fire pillars, because why not? We have a million of these. Does not really matter if I use them efficiently or not. And we just need to give her a few meteor showers on every other level, and we should be fine. 
Right, Chan? I mean, if we're just doing normal encounters and we're not doing bosses, I don't think this really matters that much. I'll do something like this. Make her just have all the weak white spells just to get it off of our menu, honestly. That could also just work. Yeah, because there's no way we're going to use Photon Ray over, like, Meteor Shower at this point. If she just wants nothing but Photon Ray, so I have to no longer menu through it, I think I'll take it. <laughs> right, chat? I'll take that. Good, that's one last thing I have to menu through. Um... Ba -ba 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 she just have, like, a one cure that's blue. Perfect. Uh, good enough. So now we can technically go and fight our evil selves. We might do it tonight. I was thinking of holding off on it, but honestly, we still have like another 40 minutes. So we're going to go get her level 7. And then I think I'll check which characters we could get level 7s on. Because we saw before, we're waiting for basically Marble to restore itself in order for us to progress. So until this upgrades, I can't do certain things. Let's see if it's upgraded yet. No. Still nothing we could do here. But we'll come back later. So this this has locked us out. So once we have this fixed, we can get a hammer and we can start doing the upgraded gear for, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, for the rainbow shells. So I want to keep an eye on that as we go through the playthrough. So technically the only thing we have left to do is go to Fort Dragonia. I don't remember if we have to go to the home world or the another world version, since as I said before, it's always kind of ambiguous. Speaking of which, I need to double check one thing with her before we go further. This is one of our last opportunities to use our rank 7 on the protagonist, so I probably also want to do that at some point. don't remember if it's the home world or not. This sucks. Well, time to guess, chat. I think it's the... We have to go to Garai's grave. That's my destination. But he's like... I guess he technically didn't die in the home world. I guess he would have died in the another world. Hold on. We're gonna we're use plot and reasoning. I think it is not here, so let me just leave. We could take this fight just to give her stats up, which is fine. Because I believe the home world is where we found him, if I remember last time. That damage is insane. What a broken character. It's swinging for so much. Uh, sure, let's black hole him. Okay, so it does damage and it has a chance to insta-kill. Interesting. I guess that's worth keeping. Eris Pharma got strength up. It's not quite what we're looking for, but whatever. We got more fire pillars. Oh no, chat. We're, we're almost at like 80 of those as a reminder. We have like a hilarious high amount because we kept killing these things earlier. <laughs> Excuse me. Miss. Thank you, Pip. Thank you for cleaning it up, Pip. Oh, she's got a sword as a weapon. So. Did we just get another Inferno? Wow. See, fire magic has like the easiest unlocks in the game. Can we all just can we all just talk about that for a minute? Like, I literally just bought an enemy that took like two seconds to kill, and we got one of their best abilities. Meanwhile, it's like an absolute struggle to kill the other elements. Like, we barely have any tornadoes and carnivores. We don't really have a lot of the earthquakes. We have a decent amount of meteor shower. And the, exactly, and there's so many garbage fire users. It's kind of unfair. Could you imagine if it was that easy to get, like, Freefall or, like, any of the other ridiculously oppressive elements that are there? Like, imagine if that was Black Hole, for example. That might be a better example. Like, actually insane how much more damage we do, these characters. 
Oh, I got an ability to do something. What a shame. Well, on the plus side, Pip is seeing more dark elements, so in theory, if he witnesses enough of them, he might become double pip at some point. Oh, I did. I was holding down, but because it was in the cutscene, I did not guess correctly if I was taking the down path already. That sucked. Now let's hope that Holy Light just one-shots him. I don't really want to sit through the enemy's attack animation. Thank you, Holy Light. Got a seal all. Well, if it was anything like the one time we used it, it's completely useless, and I will never bother with that ability again. Like, what's the point of using seal element if the boss can dodge it and you can't? Like, honest question. Remember that, chat? You remember when I tried it that one time? It was like, yeah, I'm never using this again. A waste of time. So for some reason, Garai Keepsake doesn't work on the other one that was in the Water Dragon Isle that we were at earlier. Assuming this should activate something. Or not. Okay. Was it really the other world, even though he's not dead in that world, I thought? Hold on a second, chat. I'm looking this up again. was the home world how annoying i thought he was i thought he was dead in another world and therefore that's why his grave was here did i misunderstand something in the story was that supposed to be the another world again the downside of having two places that are literally the same the only difference is what universe you're in and we flip flop between them so often it got fuzzy for me i thought for sure we visited him in the home world but maybe we did that in another world because we went to the Forbidden Island earlier. That's why I'm confused. In fact, I'm double-checking where we fought him. One second. We did fight him in the home world. What? <laughs> okay, okay. I did not misremember that plot point. But I guess because they thought he was... But they thought he was dead in both worlds. <sighs> Whatever. I mean, he is actually dead in another world. Okay, I feel less bad about that. Whatever game. Shake your head, chat. Fine. We'll go to his fake grave in Homeworld. We'll be able to proceed. But then after this, I guess we could go straight. I guess because we already cleared the other tower, I guess it should be pretty quick. We just have to presumably go to the Homeworld version of Port Dragonia. Since we have essentially the equivalency of the dragons here. We have the different components, we have the blessings of the gods, we can forge it, if you remember that room with all the dragons, at the end of it. Then... I guess we'll fight a boss? But as I said before, we have one more major opportunity to see uh, our level 7 here, because we're going to get locked out of it in a little bit. So at some point I would like to do... Links is level 7 just to showcase it in the playthrough. In fact, let's do it now. Hopefully I don't just instantly kill these. So weak. I want to show it, but they're so weak. I tried. We'll, we'll have one more chance to do it, I think. Also more fire pillars, which is hilarious. So many fire pillars. There we go. Here lies Garai. May your eternal dream live on. I feel your pain. Deep within my soul. I understand. I shall fall heir to your dream. Receive Garai's shadow. I don't know who in their right mind would have taken her here to see this grave. Because I don't think there is at any point any story connection between her and this place. But you know. Such is life I guess chat. Disco strategy guide. <laughs> Just interesting. Let's sort by attack. Actually, let's do this. 
I guess I'll get rid of Photon Ray. There we go. Let's see if she can use it on something at some point. We're not in a rush to use hers. So I think at this point, we'll just... I guess complete this little side quest. I don't think there's anything I've missed. We revisited every single area at this point. We saved Marvel. If there's anything else we need to do for a while. Oh, we should just barely be able to get this. Right, let's see what Forever Zero is. This might be the only time you see it in the playthrough, by the way. We might as well try it. Interesting. pretty good damage. 458 is very high. <laughs> More fire pillars, of course. Well, Chad, if we ever need to just do the fire magic summon, uh, we have more than enough red spells without uh, buying anything. What's our money looking like, by the way? 52,000? That's pretty good. I did not mean to get into an encounter there. That is so sad. So yeah, I think we're gonna go to the home board and then I guess do what we need to do for unlocks. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Hmm. So this upcoming boss, we should be able to get a lot of trappable elements. The question is, how much do I feel like trapping? How much do I just want to beat the boss? Also, it seems very annoying. This character has a potentially rare stealable. Yeah, they have a rare stealable. I don't think I'm going to go for it, but for those that are curious, there's a rainbow shell. So if you want to get a rainbow shell, you have to just reset every time you fight him until you get it. Which, I'm going to be real with you, chat. We are going to steal from him, but I'm not going to reset the game on that. I just find that obnoxious. I like that we just gained like another million elements there. Oops. Yeah, I had to go that way. Yeah, that's a big oof. I don't like that some of those rares are actually... I don't like that there's rare stealables. It's already annoying enough in this game. You only have one chance at steal. So it's like one thing if it's like Chrono Trigger where you just keep going for it and eventually get it. But like one use where you have to start the whole battle over. Like, puppy a break, chat. What were they thinking? So let me think, is there anything else worth doing before I go further? So I should be able to trap a lot of elements. We've never tested if it's possible to trap more than one element at once. But this character will have a lot of different things we should learn. Speaking of which, let's see what kind of traps we have on us. This might influence my decision slightly. So the boss is going to use Volcano. Check, we have that. The boss is going to use Black Hole. Check, we have a lot of those. The boss is going to use Tornado. Check, we have that. We only have one Iceberg. I don't think we have... Yeah, so we don't have one of the attacks the boss is able to do, which is a little concerning. I guess... I could try to just have some characters with a million traps. This will be the last big opportunity for us to get these abilities. Otherwise, we have to do some annoying fights later. So I don't mind stealing potentially more tornadoes and volcanoes. It's a bit RNG what the boss does, so I don't think I'm going to bother like resetting the boss per se. But I do think it's worth at least gaining some of the elements, if that makes sense. Because we're just going to be there. I'm going to take like a, a one minute detour to just get more of these. I'm just going to double check exactly what this boss has. 
Normally I would not look up these kinds of things, but because this game forces you to trap specific enemies, unfortunately I'm forced to do so. So I could get more volcanoes, it's not that expensive. That's out of the way, we have a million black holes, tornadoes, we have a decent number of, but I'll get more. I don't have a lot of icebergs, let's get some of these. And we don't have a lot of- we have zero thunderstorms left, so let's just get ten of these. And it also uses Carnivore, which we can use, and it also uses Inferno, which is hilarious. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I guess I could just steal more Inferno, not that I really need it. It is funny. <laughs> we might as well just shut this boss down and just farm him, I guess. So anyway, let's get the uh, character that's not interesting out of our party. Sorry, Terrace Pharma. Uh, we need characters with a lot of spell slots here. I'm thinking Mistfish. Need a lot of spell slots. Unfortunately, we need Fargo. So Mistfish is going to have like a million traps. So we only have one volcano currently, but we could do better. Yeah, we want to make sure she is Volcano, and probably Iceberg, probably Carnivore, probably Tornado. Can't use Black Hole, but we could use it on the other character. Do I have room for a Thunderstorm? Thank you, Barkeep, Bar for resubscribing. Hopefully you're doing well. So many things. I don't think she can. No, she can't. Okay. Let's try to get more. <laughs> right, Chad? I want to see how much we can get rid of. So, volcano, black hole, what other things can we steal? Oh, sorry to hear you're going through customer service stuff. This sucks. So we have a lot of steel abilities here. Uh, let's get more black holes. I think that's probably the scariest thing the boss can use on us, to be honest. Yeah, so we don't have many level sixes. I guess if this character has any, I might as well try to steal. I mean, whatever the boss does, I probably just want to take it. <laughs> you know what? This person can use Inferno Steel. That's fine. We could give them Volcano as well. I don't really care. Ooh, General Manager. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully your week improves, Barkeep. We're on our way to potentially farm a boss of a lot of different attack techniques. Depending on how frequent the boss uses them, that might change what we do. I'm willing to like leave battle once or twice. If the if the boss literally chains nothing but like high level techs, I think it would be worth resetting him once, and that's about it. But I, I don't want to go for like ten uses. Well, glad you're able to live on your own, but sorry to see that you're doing 50 plus hours. That could be kind of rough. Okay. So I believe we should have everything we need here. Speaking of which... <laughs> so you finally made it. But this is as far as you'll get. A little too soon for you to get your original form back. Well, that was easy. I probably want to get our steel out of the way. Uh, actually, let's Volcano first. Decent. 
damage. We have Volcano again here. I could... Whoa. It was spazzing out there on us for a second. I guess I could do Tornado to be safe. I'm not sure if it stacks traps. I don't think this has ever come up before, to be honest with you. I'm assuming multiple traps stack, but I could be wrong. Also, we're doing insane damage to him. I kind of don't want to do that much. But let's definitely steal from him. We did not get the good steal, which is fine. He's using feral cats. Should not do a lot of damage to us, and it did not. Just use a quick recovery on us. We basically just want to build up our spell level so that way we can trap whatever he's going to do. And then we should be good. Let's put ourselves out of kill range just in case. Again, I'm really scared I'm going to accidentally kill him with this character, so I'm going to defend. Build up our spell levels a little bit. But so far, he's not using any abilities. I don't know if he just needs to get weaker. There's Volcano. Interesting. So it only steals one at a time. Hmm. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so I have to know what order he does things. Okay, chat, let's learn in real time. So we can only have one trap out at a time, which sucks. So let's just hit him a little bit and see what he does. So he likes to attack. Maybe he does like attack, spell, attack, spell. Is that his pattern? Oh, he's using our own ability against us. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. I'm definitely going to heal Burger King. I think I... I don't remember what the last thing I trapped was. Was it Black Hole? It was not. Oh, that could be very bad for us. I thought I... I don't remember what I trapped after Volcano. Alright, let's run away. Okay, so he does a very set order. So at least now that we know that, I'm willing to try again. <laughs> Give it up, Greg. Everything is merely a dream. Kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Now we have an idea of how to steal from him. Yeah, you can run from bosses. They make it very annoying in this game because there's, like, rare items on enemies. And on top of that, as we just learned, you can't stack traps... So if you want strong spells, you have to just kind of sit through the boss pattern, which is super not ideal. I really don't know what they were thinking with this game in some regards. So anyway, so he did, what was it, Volcano, I think, first? He did Feral Cats into Volcano, so I think we could beat him here. As long as we stop him from using Volcano, I think we're fine. And again, it was mostly just I was too scared of killing him, so... I'm not really worried about damaging him. But now that we know that, let's at least steal Volcano and steal another ability. Let's get some hits on this character. Who knows, chat? Maybe we'll get, uh... the rare steal. Nope. Oh well, I'm not resetting for it. Alright, so we know eventually the character is going to use the spell. But I could wait a little bit. You know they're going to use Volcano at some point. Um, let's just weaken him a little more. That damage is insane. Let's defend. Now we can use this opportunity to seal him with Volcano. Actually, let's attack once first. Let's just make sure Volcano's off the table, because this is the only thing that could kill these characters for the most part. Now we could steal that. I should still have high level heals, right? I didn't get rid of those. I did get rid of those. That's annoying. I'm gonna cure plus on this fish then. Big heal. Need to melee a little bit just to build some meter. There we go. Nice and simple. Let's use a generic recover all. That'll also reduce his damage dealt. Build 
with her meter. She's gonna attack, and now he should use the ability that we were looking for. We're keeping our magic usage pretty high. I'm gonna use a cheap heal on the party. Just to keep us out of harm's way. Put a little more meter. I want the boss to do its attack, so we're gonna defend here and then defend again after this. There's Volcano. We sealed Volcano. Good, so we earned it. After that, I think it was gonna use... I think he used Black Hole. We get to seal Black Hole right now. Uh, so getting another Black Hole would be huge. Just to build up our meter a little bit. Honestly, he might die before he gets a chance. I'm trying not to kill him too quickly, but honestly, we're doing like a- like, he's already wounded. So we've almost killed him already, so we're gonna hope that he uses this ability. I'm defending, so hopefully I take less damage. I've also used other elements to negate Dark Element a little bit, so it should do less damage in general. Yeah, like that was not that bad. Uh, let's use a recover all. That'll further weaken his damage. We're going to... Well, she has a cure-all here. Ooh, actually, let's use that. That is a super strong ability. We're going to defend, and hopefully he uses his ability. He used Tornado that time. Oh, that's unfortunate RNG. It didn't do very much damage, though. All right, so... I, I guess since it's random... I guess it's not worth farming it. So it seemed like Volcano was consistent, but if it's gonna alternate between like ice and lightning and like wind and dark, I don't think it's worth sitting through this, sadly. So we're just gonna murder him. Uh, I think I have a little meteor shower. I mean, he's already almost dead. So yeah, I was gonna say, so I didn't take that much longer. Poor boss. He's not even a boss to us, really. Let's be honest. Oh, we gained another spell slot. That's huge. Nice. What is he going to say when we defeat him? Impressive. I may have underestimated you. Anyway, I must get on with my affairs. Besides, it's too late. Goodbye, Greg. Hmm. So, I guess the question is, don't really need the other party members anymore. Who should be in our main party? Ooh, her strength is starting to go up a little more. Quizelle's magic is also getting much better. So she's gaining somewhere between one and two magic every star level, which is good. So she's on par with Jenkins. Slightly tankier than him, I think. Yeah, I think it's back to the uh, the old Pip selection. I think chat just loves the character too much. We'll put in Pikmin plus uh, Pip. We have insanely high strength scores, actually, which is fine. Melee in this game is very overpowered. I don't even think that includes when you do the stat boosters. Yeah, it doesn't. I could get rid of Pip's magic up if I want to. His magic score is just kind of mediocre. Ooh, so now we can equip the Saints. That's actually a huge upgrade for this character. And now we should also be able to use the Grim Reaper if I want to. Although I think we're about to swap soon. Well, we could swap out Lynx for Shedrod Jr. Yeah, it's really unfortunate that we can't swap them out until New Game Plus. Also, by the way, look how many spell slots we just unlocked on the star level up. This is because we went Archangel, by the way. Single enemy, just give your opponent a gentle poke. So this is what happens. We gained all of those extra slots just because we evolved him and we gained a star afterwards. So he just became a lot better as a character, to be honest with you. Like, it's like night and day how much better this character is. So we're definitely going to do a Cure Plus. We are probably going to put a Cure Plus here. We probably want to do one Meteor Shower. 
probably want another Graviton. I probably want... Probably another Meteor Shower, to be honest. Probably some Graviton. Probably another Meteor Shower, although I could do Recover All. Maybe that would make sense. Just have this character, like, godlike and healing. Uh, we need some more damaging abilities. Can we just put Inferno here? That would actually be huge. Because he doesn't have a lot of elemental coverage. And if I do that in Deluge, then that means I can just kind of pick and choose how they die. So if anything, I need to get rid of a couple of Meteor Showers in here for a blue ability. Like a Ice Blast or something. Welcome, Koi Sheppy. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I guess another Ice Blast. You know what? Another Inferno. I could give him Carnivore, but I feel like that's kind of wasted on him. Let's give him another Meteor Shower. So now we have a lot more healing, and we have more elemental coverage if I'm trying to do summons on other characters. So yeah, Pip definitely got a big upgrade from the star level there compared to some of the others. So I guess we're good to go. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I'm going to make a safety save in case there is something I forgot, and we'll just make another save for later. But I think otherwise we're ready to go. So this will be the last that we get to use Link, sadly. So that means that we will not be able to do... Oh, that means we won't be able to use the, the level 8 Black and 8. Hmm. Maybe we should fight something real quick before we do that, to be honest with you. Although, most of these enemies spam annoying abilities. Is there anywhere we could go? Nah, let's not worry about it. If we really need to, we have other Black and 8 characters, I guess. It's not the end of the world, but it's definitely going to be harder to do. But I think we're ready to go. So all we need to do is go back to the altar. We have the Dragon Tier equivalencies. We defeated all the dragons. We've already activated the teleporter. It should just be a matter of getting there now. So sadly, we did not unlock a lot of magic due to uh, the way the RNG works. Rag. You must proceed alone from here. You must see and confirm for yourself who you really are. Truth shall manifest itself once you believe in your heart. <laughs> I love she popped in just to give that dialogue. I think the game assumed that you would bring her with you, so oops. How's my day been so far? Not bad. Hopefully you're doing well, Koi Sheppy. These... <laughs> Tilda Blue Donna, I saw that. Let's touch the altar. We murdered all the dragons. All life on this planet was born in the sea. The life form softly slumbered within the womb of our mother ocean. Until eventually they developed free will and were able to swim about the ocean freely. Are we going through evolution right now on the wall? Looks like it. Then there came those, not satisfied with life in the water. Looked up from the ocean floor towards the blue skies and dreamt of the feel of the land. Ah, oh, I remember the Godzilla phase of man. Or Terrace Farman, not important or cute enough to be at our party. Damn. Truth, though. My chef is like, got heavy stuff going on in my family right now, but we're powering through. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully the stream will take your mind off of things for a bit. Aeons passed before their preposterous dream became a reality, and they rose up from the seas onto the earth. We already went for the evolution, it's true. We did level up Pip. The land became full of all kinds of creatures. Huh? Among those, the dragon lizards and the more evolved reptiles thought they would reign over the earth forever. Okay, so if you didn't play Chrono Trigger, this is how you'd learn it. For a long while, it seemed that they would. However, the unforeseen coming of the Mighty One from the heavens suddenly smashed their kingdom to pieces. The one known as Lavos, the Great Crimson Flame. Building absolute power, Lavos buried the dinosaurs, the kings of the land, in the space of a night. However, the timid apes who had lived hidden in the forests came into contact with the Crimson Flame that fell from the sky and evolved into humans. 
There you go, chat. Lavos is the reason we evolve. Perhaps this was not evolution, but transformation. Regardless, humans increased in number and filled the earth. The fearsome progeny of, Lavado, of Lavos, just like their progenitor, began to devour our mother planet. Here we go, chat. We're looking into the frozen flame. Hopefully we don't burst into flames, like they said earlier. battery. Greg is back. Suddenly Nirvana album cover. Not wrong. Well, I'm glad we went through all that effort and we broke it. <laughs> right, chat? Oops. Oh, I'm gl I'm glad uh they left spare clothes behind? Question mark. Greggykins, Greg. There we go. Remote battery probably happy to see Pikmin. Greg, you've regained your identity without being led astray. Your eyes, which foresaw the truth. To help you to regain your trust among your comrades. There's nothing we could do about the dragon tear. Its shattering does not come as a surprise. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad we didn't become evil, Greg. However, you also carry the fate of the dragon tear from another world. The broken pieces of love and hate. Although contradictory, they are two sides of the same coin. A mysterious force may come to light when the two pieces are united. Perhaps this, fo this force will be the legendary Chrono Cross. Title drop! There we go, Chad. It only took like eight or nine sessions, but we got there eventually. We did it with Dragon Orb, exactly. The problem is, the shrine, which is said to give life to Chronocross, is nothing but a cavern inside the Divine Dragon Falls. Greg, you may hold the key to bringing forth its powers. The Dragon Tear shattered, but transformed into the Tear of Love. Alright, so I'm assuming we have nothing equipped. So we have dash and slash again. We have luminaire, which is really good. And now we have flying arrow. Oh, but that's only single target. Oh, whatever. Yeah, we got nerfed. <laughs> Chat, we got nerfed. Uh, I'm going to put double revive here. I would let the game automatically select things, but we've seen what happens when we let the game do it. It's usually very disappointing when it does it. We need at least one turn white. We need at least one turn black. The rest of these don't really matter. I guess I could get some cure pluses for elemental coverage. A couple of heal alls for elemental coverage. One recover all, one purify. We leave one more recover all or two here. And I think we just need elemental coverage for our companions. So I don't need damage. I just need to make sure that we have some stat ups. If we go down here, definitely want Eagle Eye, because that thing is, like, actually broken on our characters. Keeps wanting to do level 4, and I'm like, listen, it's not needed. We'll do two of those. We'll do one yellow. We'll need a blue. I don't mind another Cure Plus or something here. And we need a red. 
So that way we can help people. Strengthen's a pretty good one to take, actually. So we're not going to be using these for damage anyway. We can use a strengthen here. A weaken. Uh... Probably... I think that decreases evasion. One damage spell, and then the rest of these should just be... Absolutely monstrous damage abilities on everything that we have. The bottom three will probably be meteor showers. Get a graviton in here. Where's our many infernos? There we go. Once we have like one or two, we should be good. I guess instead of fire pillar, I could just make that inferno, honestly. And the rest of this should just be basically just fully light meteor shower spam, honestly. That means he can learn the summoning techniques. Which is kind of annoying because we did lose a really powerful black magic user. I put one free fall here. But I could take it off of you. We don't want to have the stat up one. He could keep that one. There we go. We're gonna try him out briefly, but this is pretty much the stopping point. We'll leave him with Saints. We have enough ways we can white magic on every level if we need to. We have enough other abilities that I can probably help people with their summons. Like, arguably, I could probably remove one of these for a yellow spell. If I just need a little bit of help there, like, this is probably fine. Like, if an enemy survives, like, seven meteor showers, like, something, something wrong has occurred. We have enough blue spells that I can help with blue summons. I have enough green to help with green. I don't have a lot of yellow, but I can't help that yellow sucks, chat. That's not my fault. <laughs> right? It just... we The only thing that's usable in that entire tree is Earthquake, and it's very annoying to get. So, sorry, yellow. We're probably not going to do your summons very often. So, we could potentially go re-recruit basically everybody, chat. But I think we're going to save that for next time. What we're going to do now is just battle an enemy and see what our new ability does. But just think of all the characters that didn't know about our swap. We're going to get all of them back. So if you have any favorites from before, we will be going on a grand collectathon, I think, next time. That's probably going to take us like two, three hours by itself, just getting everybody back. Let's see what this new level one technique is. That was a very timely defend. Now we can use flying arrow. Let's see what this does. Is the damage any good? Oh, that's the boss from Chrono Trigger. That damage was not good. I'm not gonna lie. For a level 7, that was pretty weak. I'm a little disappointed there. Alright, we'll do chat favorite Starburst. There you go. Goodbye, fight. Oh, we actually survived that. Impressive. Did you see how much damage that was? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did that say 502? Holy. Pip, please. What was that damage? Hold on. Is Pip broken now? What was... Like, I didn't misread it, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe because we had, like, one dark element on the field, maybe that's why we did slightly less. I'm just gonna verify. Yeah, see, that did 500 damage. Why was that other technique so bad? Okay, it was just... Other one's bad and it should feel bad. Got it. Holy, our damage is so high right now. Here we go. The almighty headbutt. We're gonna slow it down. Yeah, so people's level 3s are better than our level 7s. So I think we very unironically got a huge downgrade by going back to our original body. At least the other thing was an AoE of high damage. 
disappointing chat. Um, I guess I should be able to summon kill technically if I wanted to. Should be doable. These guys don't seem to use many elements very often. Alright, whatever. Let's leave. So anyway, we have chat's favorite army. Look at them just flapping and bouncing along behind us. So we have a lot of things to do. Remember, basically the home world will react to us differently now. We should be able to basically talk to everybody. We have the pure white magic team. So if all we wanted to do was spam meteor shower and heal, it kind of covers everything. So I think that's why white element is just honestly one of the best uh, possible ones that we could have. Just because of the fact that not only do you have super heals, but you have super damage. And you can revive people. Whereas the other ones are just damage. Where they... Or I guess green also gets like ultra accuracy, which is good. So white doesn't have like the most amazing buffs and debuffs. But like you can lower magical defense, which is okay. But honestly, the ability to just spam meteor shower over and over. Actually, negate magic is really good. I take that back. Negate magic is actually super, super good. But... Otherwise, we could just do whatever we want to them. There's not much they could do to survive our team. We could very briefly, I guess, look at the stats of the people before we get more stars. So Pikmin's strength is hilariously high. Is there anybody even remotely close to him? Like, Rattlebitus, is, I guess, is close. Siegfried is slowly catching up. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, hold on. We have all the character... Oh, we don't even have to go recruit them. Oh... Well, I guess that answers that question. So, chat, we have Cliff Warden back, I see. Does that mean we have our real characters? Wait, hold on. How come I don't see everybody? Hmm. So, we got some of our characters back automatically, but I'm noticing, chat, a distinct lack of psychic... Oh, there he is. Never mind, he's in the corner. I was gonna say, where's our psychic wrestler? So there's our psychic wrestler. Words that totally make sense, trust me. So, I guess we have a lot of characters to potentially level up. So, Skardana, stat-wise, kind of fell off, but we should be able to do a quest for him next time. So, if, we re if you remember from earlier in the game, they kept talking how he's supposed to be the uh, owner of the Einlanser. We can actually go get that, and that's going to make Skardana probably the most broken character in the game, other than the protagonist. Yeah, we can see just how strong Muhu is. Like, her strength score is pretty much unrivaled, and her magic is pretty high. She's like a more melee version of Shenron. Axel's magic did fall off a little bit, sadly. He was our best spellcaster by, like, miles, but only 28 magic at this point is kind of low. So, sadly, Axel did not scale very well into the second coming. I was hoping he would have, like, 30 magic. So, at this point, now our mermaid character's magic completely outclasses him. I think there's no reason to use Axel anymore, sadly, chat. Other than just liking his personality. Mojo is terrible. I, I'm so sad Mojo's stats are just so bad. I mean, Groon, for example, is an example of a character that's, like, borderline unusable because of their magic score. And then you can see they're just strictly worse compared to, like, every other average stat character. Little Cactus is also pretty terrible. Somehow, Angry Toad, not our worst character anymore. Somehow. I still think it's Van Gogh Room might be our worst character. Oh, never mind. I disregard, chat. We found the actual worst character in the game. Why is he, it's like, 7 to 8 strength and, like, 4 plus magic under every other character? <laughs> this character is actually, like, F tier. <laughs> Just, there is no reason to use him other than to make the game hard. Because he is terrible at everything. The master of nothing. Mr. Bad Touch is the worst since he existed. Yeah. At no point did he become a usable character. The fact that he has half of the stats of the protagonist is insane. That's, that's just how bad he is right now. There's no point to using him on a scale of 99. At least, like, Terra's Pharma is starting to pick up a little bit. Like, she has more magic than Pip, but... Grobic strength is kind of scaling up there. So technically, if we just wanted a melee black user, Grobic is not terrible. 
Yeah, we do seem to lack a distinct black magic user now that we lost Lynx, which is pretty sad. Also, speaking of terrible, Jill Nye, her stats are garbage. How does she only have 18 magic? Wasn't she supposed to be a spellcaster? What happened? She should be at like the same stats as Jenkins, by the way. I don't know what happened. Like she was like one or two magic under the other characters. Don't get me wrong, but she wasn't like 11 under. Like that's crazy. So I don't know, chat. She also looks like kind of bottom tier. She she could join uh, Mr. Bad Touch in F tier. Whatever is decent enough. I think Dragon is just better version of that. So I think Dragon's probably our best fire magic user. Although Woohoo is very close if all I want is melee, because five extra accuracy and two extra strength does make a difference. We've seen how often I whiff. Master Chef is decent. You know, her strength is terrible, but her magic kept up, I think, for the most part. Yeah, her scaling is super bad. And Skellington actually did pick up, because he was kind of mediocre before, but he's actually good enough. Vamco Vroom's magic is also good enough. It's not, like, we don't need it to be, like, 28 plus for it to be useful. Anywhere in, like, the mid-20s is good enough. 20 by itself is not strong enough. So, yeah, we apparently have all these characters. So, there are going to be a lot of things that we could do. So, keep in mind there were places we couldn't go. We have to potentially go back to things like Termina. Since, if you remember, we tried helping the one guy with his uh, prices his sales. There's there's a lot of things we could do now. So hopefully now that we've done all this, we should be able to get like four to five rainbow shells. And presumably we should also be able to uh, potentially do start doing crafting. Also that means that technically if we want to reuse the other characters, we do have to assign them abilities again, which is kind of annoying. But at least now we have enough spell slots in general that we should be able to get something good. So yeah, Quizel is definitely slowly scaling up to usability. I'm curious about her slots. Okay, so she's got one of the better slot types that we have. Okay, that's good. But yeah, we'll probably play more with Draggy plus Pikmin plus whatever. Mojo's pretty miserably bad now, too. His strength is just not good enough for where we are in the game. Like, 35 is considered weak for our mages. Like, 40s is really good. 50 is obviously broken. I mean, this character's broken, Jack. Let me just be honest. <laughs> like, his stats don't make any sense. Like, he just... He, he's, like, one of the best mages in the game, and his strength score eclipses everybody. Like, what an actual monster. I guess that's the benefit of always playing with him in the party. But anyway, I think that's all we're going to do for now. So let's chat. So I have some things I want to talk about with chat separate from the game. So stick around for that for a few minutes. But I think otherwise, we're at a pretty good position in Chrono Cross. We have completed the six dragons, finally. We got our form back. We could go to the Sea of Eden. We haven't unlocked the final dungeon yet. And we also have the potential ability to make Chrono Cross. So we should very heavily, I guess, consider completing a lot of side quests next session and i guess that'll probably be a majority of our next session but look forward to that but for now let's go ahead and say goodbye to youtube so if you did watch to this point in the video of the vod I'd like to say thank you for watching hope to see you again in the next part